All right. Well, we are back, huh? We're back at the Nine Club. Stop and chat. Today we have a special, special, special returning guest. Mr. Chris Joslin is back. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck yeah. How are you, dude? I'm hanging in there, you know, getting through it as we all are, I think. That's right, man. <laughs> yes, That's man. right. What's been going on, man? Listen, bro. <laughs> What do you got, Chris? Well, <laughs> <laughs> as you know, on the on the stop, we'll 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 get there. Yeah. But as you know, on the stop and chat, we we pull clips for you know the guests to talk about. And goddamn, man, <laughs> <laughs> he's another one. He's another guest. It gets, you, there's Bro, too many clips. Bro. There's so <laughs> many clips. They're all so gnarly, insane. And again, we'll get to that. We'll get there. Yeah. But I just... I, Take your time here, Chris. We just watched them. Yeah. So I, we're, it's fresh in my mind. Yeah. Sick. Hell yeah. You know what, what I'm trying to say is you're gnarly, bro. Uh, That's what I'm trying to say. You, I'm trying to say levels here. Yeah. Hey, you know what's awesome? I appreciate is, that. Is last week, Reynolds was ta- talking very highly of you, too, like how much of a fan he was. Yeah. I saw that yesterday. I was like tripping. <laughs> so rad, dude. <laughs> I was tripping. I actually had the screen recorded. I was about to like... I was about to post it on the gram today and be like, highlight of my day right here, but the day just flew by flew before by. I knew That it. happens, I was dude. Like, I was like, here we are, about to do this. I was like, man. But it is crazy. I mean, when the when the boss talks highly of you, I mean, he was talking highly to Jerron, and Jerron yeah. was, you know. And he it, made a motherfucker blush, man. <laughs> <laughs> Straight up. Like, I was like, damn, man. Like, those are the moments, man. That's but he yeah. is, like, Reynolds is the essence of, like, a true skate rat, you know. He's, like, loves skateboarding. So it's like he's, like, 10 years, he's, like, six, 16 years years old just got his first board for christmas you know he's like that excited about it it's very rare to have like a skate nerd like that that's so up there up there Mm -hmm. you know what i mean Mm -hmm. like Uh, like by that time they usually have like lost kind of interest in it totally yeah Yeah. just been doing it for so long and it's like oh i'm tired of it now but no no he loves it bro it was that showed right there i was like what you watched the video this morning like (laughs) this morning (laughs) jesus bro like let's go you know but it is funny because we were did talk about like you know, when you first did come on the scene and, you know, we, 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 we kind of knew you as like this, like jumper, you know, you would jump and do these, you know, crazy gaps and stairs. And then, like I said, when I first really met you was at the Battle of the Barracks. And when, when you I were- almost won. Okay, listen, that was another- <laughs> He's bringing up all the old nine clubs. Listen, no. I forgot that you. Okay, that no. was the best. I know. We gotta bring that back somehow. That, Dude, that whole conversation is so I, good. I, I, insert video here. Right. Right. Yeah, right. I apologize, bro. But listen, that was the first time that I saw you in person, and just your flat ground game was like so on point, man. And I was like, wow, this kid. Listen, sometimes you either got one or the other. You know what I mean? Like sometimes yeah. people can jump and fly and do all this stuff, but they're flat ground. They can't do that, you know? And you right. Just, man, mm-hmm. I was like so impressed. Not in this dude. case, huh? Yeah, I was so impressed, man. Mm. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Appreciate that. I like his ba- setup. He's going on in the background. He's kind of got the nine club vibes going. He's got like all the yeah. products set up. Yeah. Okay. I back that. that. What do you got in the back? Is that like... So is that the setup or is that like your actual normal station of product? So this is just kind of one of the newer graphics that's coming out in a few months. This one's just one of my favorite ones. I like the silver. Um, that's a couple of different colorways in the truck, a couple of pro wheels. Whoa, uh, yes. A colorway in the shoe number two, a colorway in the shoe one. And then um, this uh, new hardware company that my buddy Eric just started, Biggest Little. Got to shout him out because it's new. Dope. Oh, yeah. Awesome. Biggest Little it's Hardware. Hard to see that. I like that. Yeah, because he's from go. Reno, the biggest little city. There okay. You go. There you go. Yeah. Nice tie-in. You guys definitely know Eric. He's the one at Street League that like tells you hold up. And oh, Lando. Like, oh, Eric, yes. Yeah, Eric yes. Lando. He's yep. the fucking man. Hell wow. yeah. Straight, Straight up. What's his skate yeah. shop? Is it Classic Skate Shop? Is that what it yep. is? Yeah. Classic Skate Shop. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah, he's he awesome, actually dude. texted he me is. yesterday. He's like, dude, you got a major shout out from the boss on the nine club on the <laughs> nine club stop and chat. And I was like, What? No way. Yeah, That's so good. sick, dude. He's like full blown skate nerd too. Dude, he he is so funny to me that like he's just like a nice dude. He, but you see with the street leagues, and when he tells people to get off the course, you do not want to fuck with that Bro, dude. Bro, he was so serious. Uh, yeah. <laughs> He's like about his shit, dude. It's, it's yeah. so awesome though, because he's just so nice. But then when he, he's like, 
No, dude, don't. Now he's just dare about go. his business yeah. in, the, in the moment and shit, and then you get him after that, and he's just like the nicest dude. Yeah. Like, hey, man, how are you doing? <laughs> but at the same aspect, I'll talk to him afterwards, and he'll be like, he'll be talking about it. He'll be like, dude, how do I tell Paul Rodriguez to get off a of skate park? <laughs> <laughs> or like Shane O'Neill, like, yeah. like it's hard for him, believe it or not, as like easy as it seems to be, it's because of sure. how intimidating he is. He definitely kind of hurts his heart a bit when he has to like tell a legendary skateboarder that he really looks up to in a sense to like stop skating, you know? Yeah. Could yeah. you imagine like, yeah. Hey, P-Rod, scram, beat it. Get out of here. Yeah, exactly. scram. <laughs> in, that, in, in that fashion. Yeah. Out, bro. <laughs> He's uh, awesome. So what's been going on, man? Uh, you've been uh, out in the streets, probably, obviously Are you filming for anything. What's going on, dude? Well, let's talk skate. Not working on a whole lot. Normally I feel like there's a few projects going on, but right now we're just kind of focusing on this plan B video. We're Ooh. trying to wrap up another one by okay. the end of this year, 2021. Oh, so, okay. And end of 2021. Yeah. Well, we're still trying to figure it out. We don't know if we're going to kind of do something small, like a super future kind of style vibe Ooh. in like July. Okay. With like whatever footage maybe doesn't make the cut or just like can be thrown towards that and then do like a proper full length by the end of the year. Wow. Or who knows? I mean, kind of times are changing right now and short films are kind of more the way to go. So yeah. I don't know. It's, it's hard to say. A, it's a yeah. toss up, man. I mean, as we all know, like Godspeed kind of set the bar high with uh, full lengths. You yeah. know? Dude, how good was that video? So, yeah. It was so good. Yeah. But yeah. it just kind of goes like, to show like full lengths aren't dead people will watch them if they're good you know Definitely. we it's, think it's plan b has the all-star squad all -star. so you could watch that you could yeah. Be like, yeah i might tune in on that one yeah. sure. I, I, I really did enjoy the super future video when that came out because that was something new when mm -hmm. it was all the gnarly dudes but it was something short and i was yeah. like that's good too that was, yeah. a, that short was a long sweet. time ago when was that like 2006 no eight I want to say eight. I'm not too sure though. Eight? Could be wrong. That was a good video. That's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Any video is good as long as it's good, great skating, edited well. Like <laughs> good shows, skaters. Good skaters. <laughs> all those. You, you know, gotta check check, check all those the boxes of yeah. those. But yeah. even like we were talking about Godspeed, like you know, shows the shows their personalities yeah. and stuff. You know, it's like a mixture of everything, man. That's yeah. why Hot Chocolate Video just killed it. You know. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Hell yeah. <laughs> it's tough too though, because like with full lengths. Of course, you can sit down and watch it, but then a lot of times when you watch skate videos, it's either before you go and skate mm -hmm. or just when you don't have too much time and you're just scrolling through and trying to watch something real quick. So that's another thing, too, with like how busy people are these days. It's like you can watch it once, but then like how long until you kind of forget about it and never watch it again? It's so true, mm -hmm. man. Well, what do you what have you been watching lately? <laughs> Instagram. That's <laughs> it. You just scroll. With with two kids is about all I got time right, for. It's pretty right, crazy. Right. Yeah, I that mean, cars I'll, have I'll, enough time. Shit. Yeah. Right. If I if I throw on YouTube, it's like maybe a video or two before it's like, can I watch PJ Mask? Like, <laughs> oh man. All right. Go ahead. Have yep. your have your show. Yep. And I go back to Instagram. So. <laughs> right. You you got your little device and. What did you say? PJ what? PJ Masks. PJ Masks. What is that? One of the new kids shows they got these days. Yeah. I don't know. I know about that. <laughs> yeah. I know about the PJ Masks. Mike's son is caught up on PJ Masks. PJ <laughs> Masks. Right. Yep. Wow. Yeah, it must be a trip, bro. The theme song is pretty catchy. Got to admit that. You know, I'm sure you know so many little theme songs now. I definitely do. It's insane. I was just singing one earlier for no reason. <laughs> I was singing one earlier. <laughs> Let's hear one, Dubs. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'll sing the PJ Masks for you. What's PJ Masks, it's the PJ Masks. You know, it's it's, it's easy. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. It it pretty much yeah, is I'm not going to sing the whole oh, thing. Not, okay. I'll just give you a little bit. A little taste. Yeah, a little taste. Because right, right. nighttime is the right time. There you go. <laughs> There's one kid's song that just, it went crazy, dude, about a, a whale or something. Or a, so sick. A fish. Baby shark. shark. Yeah, the shark, bait. Oh, yeah. Billions of views on YouTube. It's crazy. Next level shit, bro. You can only understand if you have kids. Right. Yeah, he didn't even remember the name of Baby Shark right now where it's like, I'll never forget it. You'll never forget it. I'll never forget it. I heard that song a million times. Baby Shark, do, 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 baby. And then it goes, Mommy Shark, do, 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 There's nothing to it. There's nothing to the song. No. It is catchy, though. I don't know if I've it. You haven't? Oh, really? I don't know. Dude, 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 dude. YouTube it. Now? Add to the billions of views that this thing has. Have to look, up, look it up. God, <laughs> man. So Plan B. Okay. Wow. Amazing, bro. Um, yeah. I wonder if Danny Way is gonna because he just came out with that one thing, bro. 
Oh yeah. Yeah, no, I don't I don't think he's Man. gonna try too hard to film another part for this one. I mean uh, him it's and Colin are pretty much the, Yeah, there you go. Or maybe uh I mean he skates that big Wednesday thing they got going on down in San Diego every that's Wednesday. True. That's that's true. Big old bonus he just pulled off. Mm-hmm. I was like, What? Oh, that was yeah. so yeah. sick. Mm-hmm. I want yeah, we want to see more of that. Yeah. Anyway in the streets, bro. It's like you want to see anything, man. And yeah. Colin. Call him yeah, the cash. Yeah, call yeah. For sure. Do you see the best trick contest he entered earlier in the year? With the like alley oop fakey frontside flip over Tony Hawk's channel and the switch back big, I think. Yes. I caught I think that. I do remember that. I caught that. It, that was, it was master a contest class. master class. Yeah, it was a contest hosted, I think, by Tony on Tony's ramp or I just saw the clips though. What was it the never been done thing? Maybe it was something like that, yeah. Or sure. dream trick or something? What Sound was the one like that, that. Uh, Tony did the blunt slide or shove it blunt slide thing? I don't think it was an was... NBD thing, a- for, but like I think it was sponsored by Masterclass. Oh, gotcha. Mm. Is Raj not there? He's here. I'm in the back switching cameras for you. He's in the other room. Oh, okay, because you you weren't like on video during Reynolds either, so I was like, oh, maybe he's at home. No, yeah, we've switched it up, bro. I hide in the back. <laughs> <laughs> making making the the show that much better. Well, we got sure. Dron Wilson here. Jerron Wilson, oh, man. Sure. You may remember him from uh, Goldfish. This video. is my guy right uh, here. First know. part in Mouse. Yeah. First part in Mouse. <laughs> the only slow mo trick in the video. Dude, you guys are. <laughs> Build me up here. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> First Reynolds, now them. <laughs> yeah. oh, no, right? Uh, they're they're always hyping you up. Those are your boys. Uh, yeah, definitely. I keep it, got a good support system over here. Man, we love You it, guys bro. probably got one of the coolest vibes going in this show. Like, I see other podcasts these days and I'm like, why are you guys even doing that? Why are you, guys doing that? <laughs> why are you even wasting your time? <laughs> no, nah. nah, I mean, no, hey. but it's true, though. It's true. <laughs> you gotta, no, but the, the, the meshing of the people is what makes it great. You know, we not, not just time. us, but, you know, we have a podcast fun. in general. Yeah, we have a fun time here. Good energy yeah. in here, man. Good it's energy. highly respected. Oh, thank Even, you, I was tripping out early or like right before we started doing this, I was thinking to myself, I was like, you know, every time Chris says, uh, all right, we're back. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We're well, well, well. You've never, ever been interrupted from I what I remember. Know. Maybe some, I don't remember, actually. That's a good We'll have to pull some. I don't know. I think we are all like we really got to that point. Well, for myself, I've been on for a short amount of time, but you respect that 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 opening statement. I was thinking it'd be kind of funny to be like a little bit of a clown, and when you're like, "Well," I'd be like, "We're back," <laughs> but, yeah. but I couldn't. I couldn't do it. You couldn't do I was it. Like, nah, that's his thing. Like, you gotta respect <laughs> that. I feel like it just sets the mood. You know, yeah. it sets the tone yeah. of the show. Sets the mood. You know, it always it makes just, the guest. Like laugh a little bit, yeah, yeah a little chuckle, giggle, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's always good, bro. It's always <laughs> yeah. good, man. I love it. Let's let's talk skate, man. You know that's what we're here for, bro. <laughs> How's all your sponsors, bro? Let's talk about this, bro. Because listen, not many people have the rock star, you know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no, but seriously, Clay Kreiner, like, dude, he he dropped that part recently. He's on Rockstar too, right? <laughs> yep, Clay's on Rockstar. There's a limited few. There's not too many people on Rockstar, right? So it's Omar Hassan, Clay Craner, oh. Tyson Bowerbank, Jack Olson, uh, David Gonzalez, uh, Elliot Sloan. Elliot's, that's a good yeah, crew. Yeah, dude. Yeah, it's pretty. It's pretty small. I wouldn't say it's small, but it's definitely not like everybody and their mother rides yeah. for it. And uh, um, it's, it's pretty, pretty tight solid, with though. like an eight to ten. You know, team, you know, crew. I mean, that's... Dude, that's and that, that's amazing. Like, imagine if you... I mean, I'm sure you guys have gone on tours, but imagine that tour. It'd be so fun. Well, yeah. Man. Oh, Jimmy Wilkins, too. He rides for Rockstar. Oh, my gosh. Jimmy Wil- yeah, wow. we got him. <laughs> that dude's incredible. <laughs> oh, he's so yeah. sick. You know what? Listen, I, I feel... May, and maybe maybe you don't want to do it, but I feel like you would be kind of good at their little their little mega ramp setup that they got going on there. Because you like to fly, man. You could. It seems like you go fast <laughs> and you get you have control when you're going fast, which is... It's it's kind of tough, you know, when you're going fast to have that much control. Have you ever? They have I, like two fifteen trucks and shit though for a little bit more stability. I will say, if I was to ever hit the mega ramp, I'd fear more the quarter pipe after it. Yeah, yeah. that's the thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I'd probably have to like land and knee slide right away or something. Yeah. But theirs theirs isn't really like a full mega though. Like Elliot Sloan's ramp, it's kind of like they got the little Ooh. gaps and little kickers and stuff like that. I feel like you. I feel like you would have fun. Yeah, just It'd kind of flying funny. around. You should set it up so you just land a flat off the bump. Oh, oh my shit. gosh. <laughs> <laughs> That's where I see you skating it. Good God. Man. That's where I see this working out yeah. for you. Yeah, right. I just feel like there's some people that I think would be good at it. Let's ask him I, this. Has that ever crossed your mind to like even try considering that? 
Yeah, That's I would dope. consider like doing the, but like every time I consider it, I'm like, dude, I just wouldn't survive the aftermath. Mm. I just, it would just be gap and then done, knee slide right. or whatever. That's what happened to Pat Duffy, right? Like he went over the 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 gap and mm. then got to the other side and didn't know how to. He approached that, yeah, and then he flew like, to flat and blew, blew out both of his legs. I oh think. my yeah. god! I think he broke his leg or some shit. Because when I was a that, kid, I was like ten years old, and I would skate transition, obviously, because when you're a kid, you kind of just try everything. And you guys remember the OG Vans Indoor Park, how they had the big 15-foot half pipe with the roll-in? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Maybe it wasn't 15. It was like 13-foot 13 13. quarter pipe with the 15-foot roll-in. Yep. Mm-hmm. And I, I was like, one day, because I could drop in and like turn and whatnot, and one day I went for the roll-in, and I got to the other side, and I was like, all right, I'm going to just try to do a little front side air. And I lifted off the quarter and went all the way to flat, like oh. on my side. Mm-hmm. And I was like, done after that. I was like, no more vert ramp for me. Yep. That's it. Wow, man. That could deter you, yeah, really easy, you know, trying to attempt, you know, an air. Like I said, I tried that on Christian and Soy shit, and I, I flew to, luckily I landed, but I landed, like, at the flat bottom, so, <laughs> I did. Luckily, I landed on the flat bottom. I, no, like, close so to the wrong. flat bottom, I landed right, right. on a transition, but it was, yeah. like, b- bottom of the transition, so I was just like, dude, I, how do you do this, you know? Yeah, it's like, But what? it takes time, you gotta fucking really, Jake know. Brown, right? He, oh, man. Yeah. You know, that's, that's a, that hitting it and just not, I mean. Yeah, hitting the other side, not knowing how to take that other side is gnarly. Mm-hmm. What and these, he knew how. Yeah, that's he knew how. That's what's crazy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he knew how. For sure. still just. Know, you right? guys ever had those dreams where I'm pretty sure they say everyone's had one of these where you're just falling oh, yeah. and you hit the ground eventually and you wake you up. You wake up, mm-hmm. right? Think about that dream being real life. Like oh. you, don't wake, you don't wake up, you actually hit the ground and you're like, ah, oh, because that feeling in your dream, even you kind of feel the feeling of that fall yeah. being so like. Your insides tense you can up. Feel it in like, your stomach. Uh, it's about yeah. to come. It's yeah. about to. Uh. Yeah. Dude. When you're like on a roller coaster and you start free falling or something, mm-hmm. you get that like Wait, stomach. Feel. Yeah. Stomach feeling. What about uh, what about Etnies? You got you have two shoes out, right? Yeah, I have the ones, the twos, and then the Volks. I don't know if you call that a three, but whoa, damn. Are you? Yeah. Do you skate the Volks? I have. Um, I did when they first came out. Um, but like also I was just coming off the surgery, so mm. I wasn't really jumping much. So I was like, okay, cool. I'll skate these. But then what was kind of odd for me after like only skating them for two weeks was that I felt like going back to my ones or twos where they were like really puffy, which is like, I was, I was normal or I was used to that normally, but okay. to go with a smaller shoe and get kind of used to that and go back to big, I was like, okay, if I skated these like for a long period of time. I probably like wouldn't be able to go back to him. So I was like, I'm going to just get back and uh, stay comfortable with this. Cause when, obviously I jump down stuff more often than I, more often than not. So I was like, I need to stay comfortable with what I need to be yeah. wearing, you know? Well, listen, I mean, when you, when you try to El Toro, you, you try, you all eat it first, but is that normally the case or do you just go for stuff? Mm-hmm. Because I tend to find that a lot of these gap skaters or, you know, stare that they, they just go for the trick. They're not even bothering with an Ollie. They're not even testing anything out. They just press go. Yeah, I think it kind of varies for me. Like, uh, actually, the spot I sprained my MCL on a few days ago, mm. I didn't ollie it because it's at a college where you get, like, a quick kickout factor. Mm. So I was like, I'm not going to waste a try potentially getting kicked out. I'd rather give that try to the trick I'm trying. Mm-hmm. Um, and it worked out fine. I rolled away. But, like, for example, if it's, like, something big like El Toro and I want to know if I can take the impact first off before trying the trick, I'm like, okay, I'll ollie it. Oh, or if it maybe lands into a bank, I kind of want to feel the motion of the landing in the mm-hmm. bank first, you gotcha. know, like to know how far I got to land forward, how far I got to lean back, whatnot. So it's kind of like hitter. You just kind of like it, the spot di- dictates if you're going to try to ollie it first. Or if there's like soggy, uh, not soggy, but like say you're going off a roof, maybe like mm. some spots, <laughs> Amazing. you know, like a roof over like a fence. And <laughs> you're fucking yard. jaws over here. What's <laughs> yeah. going on? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. A lot of different roof. options here. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. No, but I know you, you want to get, feel it out. You want to yeah. feel that yeah. click of the tail and everything right you want to yeah but if it's just like a standard 10 stair flat landing flat takeoff it's like oh i'll just try the trick yeah you yeah. skated stuff like that you do the you, trick you said huh. that you rolled the it worked out the when you, the day you tore your or tweaked your mcl yeah i did a trick first and then because it's such a busty spot and we were still there skating i was like oh i'm gonna try another trick oh. and uh that's what happened and literally the try it happened I grabbed my leg and was like, oh, I felt it right away. I knew something was wrong. Because, like, normally when you do the splits, your leg kind of stays stiff. I kind of, like, buckled on it and sat on it a little. But I heard, like, a kick. And I was like, oh, hell no. Like, what the hell? And, dude, the fact that I just recovered from the, the, the what do you call it? Uh, Micro fracture surgery, like, a couple mm. months ago. I was like, dude. 
do not tell me I'm about to have another like oh, no. spur off the board. I was like, no way. But like the try, it happened. Of course, I grab my leg and I start to like, I'm like, all right, dude, I'm going to head out. I got to get home and get this on ice. And as I'm walking away, security comes up and kicks us out. I'm oh. like, because we're like two minutes late. Dude. Oh, yeah, I know. Man. Like the time that you kind of want to be kicked out. Yeah. Yeah. Like it didn't Damn. happen. But you got, you initially got the trick you wanted to get. Yeah. You were going for a bonus trick. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I was and like, I okay, to this say trick. That, you're like, I'm getting greedy. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck. Oh. Exactly. Exactly. I got greedy. But it's like such a beautiful 12 stair um, at the Claremont College. Mm. It's like through a Coliseum kind of like hallway looking thing. It looks just beautiful. And, uh, so I got switched front heel, and I was like, okay, I want to get Nolly front heel to kind of like Ooh. go with it. Now, nah, but you're in, when you're in it, you're in it, dude. Yeah. There's no, yeah. there's no being greedy. You're fucking skateboarding at the end of the day. So. And you just pulled off a, a fucking dope yeah. trick. And so you're, you're, and you're running hyped. off that, yeah, that little that adrenaline. adrenaline's going. Oh yeah, God, yeah, you already know, yeah. dude. I, I was tripping on when you first came back because I've had a bunch of injuries. But you, you posted a 360 flip in your garage, and I was like, yeah, dude, I know that feeling. But yeah. then, like, literally in the next day or two, you were, like, flying around a skate park. And I was like, I don't know about that, dude. <laughs> I was like, what are you doing? That's insane. I, how did you recover so quick, dude? So my surgery was kind of, um, it was a micro fracture. It wasn't, like, a ligament damage. So basically all I had to really wait for was three months till the, three months till the cartilage was hardened. Um, and then my knee was basically as, the same as it was before the surgery or whatnot. And, like, oh, there was man. no... You know, there was no real injury that happened. It was just my cartilage had gotten grounded down so much to the point where there was no more there on the bone. Uh-huh. So they had to go in, scrape the bone, poke little holes to make it bleed, which then turns into what they said, like a booger or oatmeal. And then it'll harden to cartilage after three months. And at three months is like right when they say it's good to like start doing stuff. Wow. Oh, interesting. And that was from an injury. No, or that was just, just wear a, that was just wear and tear. Wear and tear over the years, but there was a trick I was trying. You know that five flat five Marilis, the OG one that's covered. Oh yeah, yeah, the one down in down south, right? Oh uh, yeah, like South Bay. Yeah, Paso Paso Switch Switch mm, yes. all good and uh, I think and now or something. Antoine does what do you do? Nolly shove. Oh, Nolly front shove. Is that what he did? Switch front pop, I think. Nolly very well. Paul heel. Paul Trey flipped it. Yeah, right. Yeah, Knob Buster just recently uh, took care of the uh, knobs on top. The stairs. Yeah. Mm. So I was trying I was trying to nollie hard flip and I stuck I stuck one with like my front foot hanging off, but my heel was still on the board and the like the stick kind of caught my foot and like tweaked my knee outward. And like I knew right away something was wrong. I like I could feel like a little pinch, but I didn't know what was wrong. And so I tried to Ollie it again and that worked. But then I ran to throw down and tried Nollie hard flip again and my knee kind of like like almost like hyper extended, oh. and I was like, "Oh no, no, no! Oh, I'm not okay. trying this right now." So I got in the car, drove home, got an MRI, and they were like, "Yeah, yeah like everything is intact, but you have no cartilage on the bone. It's like in the in the knee somewhere. We got to go in and pull it out and give you a micro fracture." So that was that. Damn. Jeez, so dude. they induce the micro fracture for the cartilage to form. That's what happened That's with so interesting crazy. with Mikey and uh, actually I don't know about for Mikey, but for me on my hip, they had to do that because there's no cartilage. So that's when that's how they regenerate cartilage is they poke holes that and is the bleeds so crazy. and it reforms and it reforms yeah wow. it's wild yeah it was funny too because I got this MRI from my MCL a couple of days ago and he's like he's like uh, you got an MCL sprain where we perform the micro fracture doesn't look normal but there is some some uh, cartilage fragments in there so like I didn't know I didn't really read it right I'll have to ask him more on Thursday but it sounded like he said. Basically, what I understood was that the surgery wasn't successful, but there's a little bit of cartilage there. I was like, oh. okay. Wait a minute. I'll how long ago was this? Was that was the micro fracture stuff? June 4th was the surgery. So when you did the 360 flip in the garage and then you went out and skated in the park, like you just, because listen, every time I get injured, there, there's that grace period of like getting my confidence back and not <laughs> re-hurting it. And, you know, all these little things that go through your mind of, I don't want to re heard it yeah like there was none of that what what do you like you just jumped you just went to the skate park and what break yeah, break I this mean, down for us bro, yeah that's what i was saying because i, I don't you, i don't understand how that works you were just confident like the only thing that was really off for me was that i put out i put on like 10 pounds so i was a little, <laughs> okay, off balance. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah. I, I was a little off balance and uh yeah, just kind of, I mean, there was a little bit of um, of worry of like, if I come down, is it going to hurt? Mm-hmm. But um, I mean, dude, I did physical therapy five times a week oh, for three minute. months so yeah. that when I, 
when I did, and I didn't go to like a sports therapist like Dave or G. I kind of went to a basic one out here. Uh-huh. So I knew I had to kind of overdo it out here being that it was just a basic one. Mm. Um, Cause like over there, those dudes will be like, Oh, at three months, we'll have you back. It's stronger than right. ever. And it's like, I didn't have that assurance with this guy. This guy was great. Don't get me wrong. But I kind of took it in my own hands to like assure myself yeah. that I'm going to do everything they're telling me. And more like, did I be the last one there some days going like an hour and a half to two hours and yeah. sweating through my t-shirts. People are looking at me like, is this guy all right? Like, <laughs> yeah. What's going on with him? I'm just going to make sure at three months when they say, okay, I feel okay. And I did. I mean, other than that little extra bit of weight, I was like, mm-hmm. okay, now I just got to get my balance back. Cause when you're sitting around for three months, right. you lose a bit of balance. And, yeah. uh, but overall, dude, you're young too. So you're going to really true. heal up like fast. But if you're really taking the initiative, how you've been going, like, fuck, you're going to heal up even faster. That's so. true. That's true. Yeah. I was trying. Yeah. Man, the physical therapy is so important, man. Yeah. It's so it important. God, I got a lot of people that. that DM me and they're like, Hey, I'm going through this right now. Like, what do you, what do you recommend? And I'm like, Physical therapy, yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, just make sure you do that. If that doesn't work for you, I that's as far as I know. You know, that's always kind of worked for me as long mm-hmm. as I do it. I mean, imagine if you got the little microsurgery or fracture, or whatever that was, and then you just sat on your couch for three months, and then you try to get up back up on your board and skate. Like there, you, you know, it wouldn't of, work. But that's how skaters did back in the back day. in the day. Yeah, I, when I my first injury, I came back. I was like, okay, I'm good to go, and I was so disappointed. Cause I wasn't, I was like so disappointed because I did not realize that I had to put work in. Yeah. You know? I still do that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's Straight the, up. But I have to pay more attention and really, you gotta, you gotta take the, you know, the, the, the steps because listen, he got on the board and did trade and then went to the park and he was fine, you know, because yeah. he's already doing that impact. He's already working it out. Yeah. Right. Totally. I, I remember hearing, this is a while ago. You were you kept putting out these video parts, and I kept hearing from other people. Even though I knew you, it was like, "Yo, that dude has a fucked up ACL or something like that." Yeah, I think we touched uh, on we, it in his episode. Did we talk about I think that a little bit? Yeah, I came to find out that it was a misdiagnosis. Mm. It wasn't my ACL, and for whatever reason, the person that diagnosed me was like, "It's basically your ACL." At least that's kind of what I understood. I was also 19 at the time, like didn't really know much or even Mm. younger. Actually, I was like 17, 18 and didn't really know much. So when he told me that, I was kind of like, okay, well, what do I got to do? And he's like, just physical therapy for days. And like, if had I known what I know now, I'd be like, no, an ACL doesn't recover on its own like that. You need surgery. Sure. But at the time, I'm just like, okay, I'll listen to you. You're the expert. And and then I always thought something was funny because everyone's telling me like, dude, if it's your ACL, it doesn't just heal like that. Right. So I finally like had someone get a hold of the guy and like confirm it with him, and he was like, "Yeah, no, like we never said it was his ACL. We said it was pretty much or whatever he said, and <laughs> it's the ligament next to it or whatnot." So it probably was my MCL at the time. Right. But hey, honestly, the amount of physical therapy and stuff I did for thinking it was my ACL at that time, this knee has never given me problems oh, since. Wow. So no, no, no. Okay. kind of a blessing in disguise. Totally. That's the way I look at it. Yeah, but it's just so like, who's this doctor, bro? <laughs> the yeah. terms pretty much. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> pretty much. Yeah, that throws me. Like, you no kind of broke your arm, but yeah, it's a little, but we're going to put a cast on it anyway, man. Like, come you on. You pretty what? much broke pretty your much. arm. Pretty much. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty much, a, it's, it's a bone in there. Being that I was so young and like, didn't have the knowledge to kind of like dissect it more. Mm-hmm. Who, I don't know. I, I always have a hard time saying it was his fault or my fault. It, you just kind of like, I just let it go for what it was and. It might, it could have been like, a, it could have been like a money thing. You know, the more I went to him, the more money he got paid or whatnot. It's true, just, you true. know, the, the medical field's kind of, you I never say know. sketchy, but it's kind of sketchy, you know? Well, that's why yeah. I think it's important to get, you know, second opinions and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, go you, through word of mouth. You know your own body, you know, at the end of the right. day. So if you don't feel like that doctor had given you the proper totally. diagnosis, it's always nice to get a second opinion. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Ain't nothing wrong with that, Mm-mm. you know? Mm-hmm. Hopefully you got some good insurance or something, but... It's pricey, man. All this stuff's pricey, bro. Yeah, yeah it shit ain't cheap. You said it was just a little sprain right now, so you'll be back. Yeah, this you'll is be... just MCL sprain. Okay, so you'll be back on the board in no time. A few weeks. A few weeks. Love it. Who have you been filming with lately? Uh, Devin and uh, Tyler, Junktown. Those are good filmers, bro. I was tripping because I saw some footage of TJ Rogers recently that was fucking insane that uh, Devin filmed. And I was like, yo, that dude's good at filming. That's your boy, right? Dude, we've been filming for ages yeah, like that's uh, the, the OG yeah that he's been filming I want to say I was kind of like the first dude in the industry that he really ever filmed with hmm. me and like just like the homies me Josh Gomez and like all those dudes cuz uh cuz we've known him since we were young you know I met him when I was like 15 maybe and he nice. was like 15 cuz we're about the same age so 
got to travel the world and hang out. Like that's that's amazing, man. Yeah, he was on retainer for Rockstar for a little bit. They flew us out to Barcy for one of the well, one of the pro opens was going on. So he flew out there with me to like film some stuff on the side and whatnot. I think that's when I met him. Super tall dude, Filipino. Yep. Super cool. Yeah. Super yeah, humble, super. down to earth. Yeah, he's not yeah. like no fucking like goof. He's definitely I don't think a... you'll ever see him mad. I've never seen him mad. <laughs> oh, <laughs> really? Him hey, and Tyler, they're both sick, dude. Junk's like the man. Always so dope to be able to like come up with your friends. To best. Mm-hmm. This is what it sounds like. It sounds like you, he was filming you and he just kind of came up with you. Yeah. yeah. It's so and sick. Tyler, uh, he's, uh, he's actually my buddy Austin Hailman. They were like really close. Uh, friends and they filmed together for a long time and i started skating with austin like a year and a half ago and whatnot and he just like randomly went on a filming session with him and tyler was on it and we just all became good homies so tyler's sick. like tyler's like a younger kind of fresher to the scene version of hoops oh seriously oh, wow okay. yeah like kind of like spontaneous robust like you never know what you're gonna get you're just <laughs> hilarious right i haven't heard hoops name in a while bro Dude, he is funny, yeah. bro. He's a funny yeah, dude. dude. He's yeah. super He's funny. funny dude. So when you're talking about like you were coming up with this filmer and filming him, was he is he the one who like you know was filming like the uh back three kickflip down ring con and stuff like that? No, that was like right before I met him, I want to say. Wait a minute. Yeah, so how was... old were you when you back three <laughs> uh, Jesus like 14? 15. <laughs> So I met him probably 16 because it was right when Bro. I got on plan. B. Wait a minute. You got on plan B when you were 16? Mm-hmm. Like started getting boards. Oh, so um, not like official, but like getting on, the, getting in the program. Right. I was 18 when B True came out. Wow. And I filmed for that for like a year and a half. Oh, man. Wow. Dude, you were filming that on the low for a long time, dude. Until the until the premiere, that was I your. I think we talked about yeah. it because Bragg was filming that video, right? And no, I think, yeah, Bragg filmed and edited, and Hoops filmed as well. So I think I think even Bragg, when he was on our show, he was saying that he wanted to keep you a secret. He didn't want anybody to know. Right. He wanted you to come out in this video, be true, and just blow fucking minds. Yeah, this that was kind of like the whole idea of it. Right. I was like. Super kept on the low. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it, it's kind of kind of cool. sick. Bro. Yeah, that doesn't you know, happen like, too often no, anymore, dude. No, especially with, in this day and age, you know, social yeah. media. You, you, you hear somebody really quick and boom. But uh, listen, we have the clip here. We're gonna. I got the clip of the three uh, back three flip down ring con. You were fifteen years old, bro. God. That's crazy. It's so sick too. You can kind of see it in the beginning if you play it back to the yeah. left. Oh yeah, you see everybody right there. Oh wow. So that's like Jimmy Asselford, I want to say Blayback, like... Oh, yeah, I see Blayback. Matt Miller. Uh, I think Kalis might be right there with the Purple Bill. Oh, wow. wow. It was dude. a heavy squad, like all of all the SD heads from back then. Did you know everybody back then, or were you kind of just like, oh, I'm here? Offer, Aldrin, DeVille. Uh, no, I didn't know any of them. I didn't like even say what up to him. I was just this like 15 <laughs> little awkward kid, like, oh, I'm going to escape this four block over here. <laughs> wow. They're probably like, who is this kid like coming in trying this crazy shit? But they posted they, up and yeah. watched that shit <laughs> yeah. straight up. In the half cabs too. You guys love the half cabs. Fuck yeah. Say that. <laughs> yes. But wait a minute. Good. Yeah, they look really good. But wait a minute. You are you I mean, obviously, but you're not intimidated when you don't know any you know who all these guys are. So at this age, um, I kinda had this kind of like I don't want to call it like a show offy mentality, but like mm-hmm. knowing that kind of like how you kind of get noticed is to skate good in front of people sure. at that time. Yep. I was like, okay, well, so if I land this, like it'll just kind of put me in, in people's minds. You know what right. I mean? Right. Oh, so I got you. Too. I mean, I love that. Yeah. <laughs> Straight it's it's kind of, it's kind of a mentality that, you know, a lot of skaters have, you know, it depends who's around. Oh, hell yeah. You're going to skate better. Yeah. You Dude. know, not to show off, not like you're, but it, it's kind of is. It's it's a weird thing. Yeah, you it's try hard. Yeah, yeah, you it try is. hard. It really like, is. Yeah. You, you know, say the best. Say like Lakers in their in their prime, mm-hmm. right? They play a shittier team. They kind of play shitty. Mm-hmm. They play a dope squad. They're they're kicking into high gear, bro. Right. You know. Yeah. It kind of the same. A little bit. Yeah. With that energy so, around. Yeah. You want to show back then. Proof, that's sure. how you get hooked up, dude. Yeah. Like you know, you have. You say like, Jerome Wilson's on the set. She's like, "Hey, dude, check out this, check this kid dude over out. here." Yeah, like, and know? like we're just coming down off the sesh, whatever the case, and like, dude, just comes out hot. Like, yeah, yeah I'm gonna pay attention. Yeah. Oh my god, Dubs, if you were there that day, he would have been on Girl. Oh yeah, that's how I, I that's how I recruit. Like, you know, right? <laughs> you're on. You know what I'm 
Straight well, up. this was also right before Instagram, so like it still was the mentality of like you know, like you how else it. are they going to know about you? Got to get it. You got to skate right in front of them. Mm. Well, but like before Instagram, sponsor me tapes had already kind of ended. You know, like yeah. you just kind of knew to get recognized, you had to kind of just skate in front of people, right. like either a contest or whatever it may be. And yeah, it's just kind of like. Yeah, so I didn't true. end up getting on any of the companies that any of these guys no, read from. <laughs> nothing. <laughs> is, uh, how many tries did that take? Do you remember? 16. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, okay. One year older than like how yeah. old you were. That's amazing. Yeah. That was so an ad worse. too. Wasn't that an ad in something? For... I want to say it was a sequence content. That, dude, I remember seeing that being in the mag. Like, what the fuck is this? Who is this? Yeah. You know, yeah. it's always that who is this? And man, you, and a lot of those times back then, especially, those kids faded out real quick. That's mm -hmm. true. And so you were true. one that stuck, dude. <laughs> Straight up. Was anybody else, I mean, there was a big crew there. Was anybody else skating that thing? Mikey Taylor was Switch 270 front boarding the hubba, and Eric Bork was front pop back 50 the rail on the other side. No way. Nice. Wow. Yeah. Oh, that's just, this is DC Mikey yeah. days. Yeah. 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 Yep. Okay. Didn't you get shoes from DC for a while? For a little bit. I don't want to say like a couple years, yeah. Okay. This is before that, obviously, if you're just getting half caps. Mm -hmm. Who shot the so sequence? I used to enter these, DeVille. Oh, yeah. I used to enter these games of skate at the Block of Orange, and the winner would get a year's supply of Vans, which was 12 pairs, even Ooh. though it would last like six months because we'd blow through them. <laughs> yeah. But every pair of shoes I got, because half caps lasted the longest, they were like the bulkiest, you know, Vans, mm -hmm. I would get those every time. You look good in them, bro. He looks good in Etnies, too. Hey, thank you. This is when he was 15. <laughs> you got a lot, got a lot of, of footage in Etnies. Yeah. 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 Let's just, you know. It's been about Etnies. I love that, man. I've never been to Ring Con. There's no reason for me to go. <laughs> there is. It's good flat ground, and there is like a ledge up like a three stair. I think. Okay, it is. It's, that's there fine. There's some like decent shit to skate there. But there, they. But from what Chris Cole and other people describe, uh, there's like this, you know, little crack before you got to ollie before the crack. It's a whole, you know, there's a there's yeah. little fucked up things about it. There's a good coffee shop down the street. There, that's where there I would be go. at, man. What's there the name of go. it, Raj? I think they call it Starbucks. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. There you go. Oh, I love it. So does that, does that ever mess with you? The cracks or anything? Do you ever trip out on stuff like that? The crack at Rincon is, I want to say, like twice or no, maybe even three times the length of your normal crack before it. Oh, God. Which um, is fine for regular. If I was going Nolly, I'd hate it. Mm. I, I like Nolly. If there's a crack, I like it to be exactly one stair before. Sure. Because it helps me aim where to hit my nose. Hmm. Where do you aim before or after? Right between the crack and the stairs. Oh, Damn, that's wow. super precise shit right there. That yeah. seems a little a sketchy. Hell yeah. Because you could either get your nose into the crack or the wheels could hit the crack before. You know, that, that timing has to be spot on. Fuck yeah. Well, my wheels have never hit it. My board has hit it like it'll dive into it. But yeah. at that point, it just stays behind and I just free fall. Free fall. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Wow. Sometimes I won't even bondo a crack if I'm skating at Nolly and it's right there. Cause like there's really no need. My wheels aren't gonna roll over it. And if my nose is even if my nose hits the bondo, it's usually a soggy pop, no matter how hard the bondo is. So it, it usually has to be right between it. So Dude, that thought process that is fucked. I That's so I, crazy. Yeah. To, to, Cause you have to be so precise and the precision is fucked. Dude, I mean just doing stuff down. Listen, if I skate a ledge and there's a little crack there, man, I'm not, I'm not skating it. You know, yeah. it's one of the, it depends how big the crack is too. No, but it's, you know what I mean though? It's yeah. just, oh God, it's just crazy, man. Love that though. That's fucking dope. That's annoying, dude. When you do like, even in flat ground, fakie or nolly and you hit that crack and you, it, you just feel like an asshole. Like your nose goes into the crack and it just oh. flies right up. You're like, mm -hmm. chip I, your board. I couldn't even imagine what it would feel like with the big shit. What's the biggest thing you've jumped and that's happened to you where your nose has hit honestly i don't think it's really ever happened at a spot i think at the skate park because the drop i would skate off of has the crack like two inches before and so like it like it would always hit actually oh man like straight nolly fluid. it's like where the two pieces meet or like flat ground flat ground in a line sometimes it'll happen you just don't time it right um since we're in our, already on the skate clip stuff um what we we were just talking about before the show we thought it was so funny because when you were on the Nine Club, I don't know how long ago this was, Chris. Um, do you remember? I would say the, like two and a half years ago. At least, right? Yeah. You played us the tray flip mm -hmm. down 
El Toro. But we yeah. didn't we didn't say what it was. But you we just, you know the noise and everybody was speculating whatever. And then you finally released it on Instagram. You said fuck it, man. Like <laughs> I'm just gonna put this out. <laughs> but I thought it'd be fun to revisit it. You know. Yeah. I mean that that's a. Uh, Go, go ahead, Kelly. What are you going to say? I wanted to ask. There's Ollie, first of all. I wanted to ask, what finally got it in you to post it? Um, I just landed the switch front side flip on the last trick of my last part. Mm. And like I was just kind of going over it and thinking, oh, and they had re- they, um, they uh, did all the adjustments to it. Oh, that's right. right. And while I was filming this part, I went and like looked at it on my way home from one spot one day just to like, see it and see what's up with it. And uh, I saw all that. And I just got discouraged more than anything. I was like, I don't want the pressure of having someone come bondo every single one of these strips and this and that. And like, mm-hmm. I mean, and like I told you guys, the fact that like, it's not my fault I didn't roll away. Like I had already gotten over it in my head. I was like, I don't, you know, it's it just like in my head, I was over it. I was like, you know, had it been my fault I didn't roll away. Yeah, I'd have this vengeance in me of like, right. you didn't do it. But at the same time, I have this kind of, personal satisfaction of the fact that I know I basically kind of in a way did it. You know what I mean? Because it was the truck that broke. Right. Wait, right. what are you saying? He didn't do it. So watched her on the, the tray flip truck breaks. I, I don't give a fuck if the truck broke. <laughs> are you kidding me? Like that's, Cause a, that's it was a win. But you like, won. It are was already me? broken before he had tried it. Like, Insane. Like, what did you say? The, the, um, the hang, well, I'm sorry. The, uh, what no, the hanger, the hanger uh, bent on that land, oh, causing bent, me to yeah. drift off to the side. But I was standing up, you know, like wanting to roll away. But the truck sent me left like that. That's a land, bro. I, I don't. I mean, I don't, I, I'm sure you heard both, right? I'm sure yeah. you heard it was like it's a it's a make for sure, and then I'm I'm sure you heard like nah, fuck that, you don't make. Yeah, because in literal terms, it's not a roll away. I didn't roll away from it. If you're thinking like you rolled more than ten feet, you rolled enough <laughs> away from that to be a win. But I, what do you what do you have to do? Roll into the grass? Like I don't. Well, the there, truck is broken. Listen, you know there's I mean? been like, video parts right where people, you know, they roll a certain amount and yeah. then they probably you know fall off, but they can cut it. Yeah, you know, here you can't really cut this clip because there's really nowhere to cut it. Like you can't cut it there. Right. Well, there are some right? geniuses. You can't, there were some geniuses online. That, I think Shrimp Daddy. Yeah, they pieced it together, and I was which like, was amazing. Yeah, that was great. <laughs> and some people only saw that and fully thought I did. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I was getting hit up like, dude, what? I saw the land. Like, what do you mean you didn't do it? I'm like, you saw the land only. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah, I mean, so when you did that, so you went back up to try it again, but you couldn't because the tr- the truck was bent. Right. That was the second one I had bent, and I had two good trucks from both boards already. So I put the two good ones that were still good wow, on a man. third board, and then I tried it maybe a couple more times, but it was the 12th try where my body was right there. I'm just, just like, ah, I can't oh, do this anymore. Or maybe man. it wasn't that one, but there's a one in here where I just go <laughs> down, and I'm like, I'm done. My hip was destroyed. <laughs> yeah, dude. How long did that take you out um, after, in a sense? Um, or you might have been good because like you were A couple days after. Okay. Damn, a couple That's of so days. So crazy. Yeah. How many tries did were you did you try it for? Twelve. Twelve tries both times. Kid. Twelve that times like both number. times, really. I don't know. That's a win for me. The equipment failed you. Yeah. And another thing these days, yeah. I don't trade flip like I used to, like as far as um consistency wise. I big spin now more so than anything. So I'd also probably have to try big spin if I went back to try anything. Goodness. So if you went back though, it's still like to bondo all that crap and do everything. It's like it's too much, right? It's too much pressure in my eyes. And yeah, I mean, I don't think if you bondoed it, you're not really gonna. You're still gonna feel like five little mini speed bumps when you roll up, you know. Yeah. And it's just like you don't want something like that before jumping down something like this. Right. I mean, people you have want... skated the rail. Didn't Clive lip slide it recently? Yeah, the middle rail he lip slid and fifty it. I just yeah, I feel like if you're flying off that thing going 100 miles an hour, that would totally mess you up hitting those bumps. Yeah, because going that fast, it almost wouldn't even feel like five separate bumps. It'd probably feel like one long. Yeah, like, mm, that's true. I just thought it was rad that you did post it, and people yeah. were stoked. Like yeah. you know what I mean? I, I thought it was. Looked like you got a great response from it. And sure. it just became this, like, it took away from everything else I was doing. Like, oh, there's no tray flip in there. There's no tray flip in there. Like, 
dude, there's four minutes of other stuff that I worked my ass off for, like, and you guys just aren't going to show it any love. So here, get this in your head so you can get it out and f- and move forward with it, you know? Yeah, so crazy, bro. Isn't that crazy you have to, like, how you have to look at it and be like, justify yourself. Like, stop. Like, really? Like, just accept yeah. this shit. Look at all my other shit. We we take this as a win. I I take That's it a, as a win. It's a W. Straight up. Sure. Yeah. I I you know what's cool when you came on though when you showed us you're like I'm not posting it, dude. Like, you're like I'm, there's no way I'm showing anyone this. Right. And I I respect. I I'm glad that you opened up and we're like, yo, I think it's time. Like, yeah, know, I think it's because cool. I also like I said I'm at that time I I didn't know if maybe one day I was gonna get a wild hair up my ass and be like, okay, I'll go back for it now. But also the adjustments and coming to the conclusion I'll never go back. And right. uh, also me not tray flipping like I used to. So just even if yeah. I went back, it wouldn't be that trick. Now, what do you what do you mean you you not you, you don't tray flip like you used to? What What's going on there? Like tray flip was my go-to at this point. Gotcha. At, at mm. The time I tried this. Now it's like big spin or just a lot of other tricks. Tray flip's on tray the back flip. burner. It's on the back burner. Yeah, because I mean, it also sucks because I'll go to like a spot that's like fairly decent. But like in my head, the like self-competitiveness is like dude this isn't bigger than davis gap you know what i mean so like i don't feel like i know it's a shitty way to look at it because now i'll probably never film a tray flip again (laughs) quite some time but in my head every time it's like dude that's kind of like the tray flip you know it's like i don't know that's funny though like you're saying the davis gap when you look at the two davis gap and el toro el toro just looks bigger on footage yeah because of the stairs because of everything I was, I don't know if I said it on the Andrews stop and chat, but you can never, you can't even really know how big that Davis gap is until you like go there. It doesn't do it, ju- it justice on video. Yeah. Right. You go it there in person, really you doesn't. see it, you're like, whoa. It really doesn't. So the way I kind of see it is Davis gap is a nine flat nine, right? That double set over there is a nine flat nine. Oh. It's basically like El Toro's kind of like this much of a gap like height wise to length wise mm-hmm. and Davis is kind of like turning it sideways in a way. Oh, mm. okay. So a little longer. It's like longer and a li- it's longer than the 20, but a little lower. So it has its hardships for having to go faster, but then El Toro has its height hardships, you know? Right. So it's like, if you like taking straight impact more, El Toro is probably more than one for you. If you like going a little faster then Davis will work. Which- Would you say that that double sets a nine, nine? Yeah, that one right behind it yeah. is a nine nine. Oh okay. gosh, Jesus! Huh. So it's, yeah. How did that feel, dude? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't even imagine. Fuck, man. How many that tries? Twelve? Ten? Twelve? Was it twelve? Twelve tries. Yeah. That's crazy. Nice yes. Wow. Did you ding, stick ding, it a bunch? Ding. Did you stick it a bunch too? I want to say I stuck it two or three times, maybe. Damn. Yeah, I cracked my board on the first stick, and then I tried it again on the crack board until I stuck it one more time and then was like, okay, this one's not holding up. So it's interesting to me because I, when I skate fast, it, it doesn't work. Right. Like I, (laughs) (laughs) what doesn't work? (laughs) I guess what I'm getting at is like when you're skating these gaps and you're going fast, does, does it slow, does it slow down for you or something? Like how, how do you, I don't know. I when, don't, when I'm going fast, oh, everything's no. just so quick, you know? Without it's like the board's flipping like, and everything's oh. like in fast motion, right? Like, does it slow down for you or do you see Chris, um, man, So you know just, how when you skate flat ground, you kind of like, you do your trick pretty rapidly? Like when you kick flip, you pop flick. Sure. Yeah. Or when you big spin, you scoop spin catch, you know what I mean? Yeah. When you, when you jump, when I jump down something at least, I do this, I replicate the same motions, just a, a tad slower so that it gives me more time to complete rotations or flips or whatever it may be sure with certain tricks though and like yeah so other ones kind of just happen naturally or when you're going down something for whatever reason because if you look he catches it like right about where he would pop at you see like yeah let me get this clip here you pop and you do it real slow and catch it and bring it down because reynolds is like kind of opposite he goes up he oh, pops yeah. it he up so out. it smacks his foot but it's hard on trailers you can't really do that you know what I mean? It's hard to, to pop up and catch and go out. Off yeah, I don't tray flip very high in general. I'm trying to get across that So thing. You, you just try to flip the board a little slower so that you could kind of see it going underneath you and then where when to catch it. Is that that's right. kind of the... 
I guess another factor is like, I would always kick out a lot, you know? And so my muscle memory starts to tell me, or I'm just telling myself like, no, I'm not, I'm just, it's, it's not going to happen. Right. Like I just keep kicking out, kicking out, yeah. kicking out. Like, do you just try to make yourself land at every try? I mean, obviously in El Toro, you were kicking out a little bit, but normally my instinct is if the grip tape comes to my feet, I try to put it down. Uh, yeah. If it, okay. Hold I on. always had this kind of motto when I was growing up, skating the drop at my local park. Like if I see grip tape, stick it. That was kind of like my thing. That's worked well for you. Have you ever tried different color, <laughs> different color grip tape, like clear? I ran the stencil grip for a long time, the painted grip. Okay. Um, I've done clear grip, but I'll only do it for like artsy purposes. I'll try to like sticker up the top of my board cool. And sure. like, or if I'm put, building a cruiser and I don't really like. Right, right, right. Not going to skate it too much. I'll put some clear grip on or some fancy grip. It's mm. so crazy, man. Here's another. Uh, this this tray flip was insane, too. This was from uh, Edney's album. Uh, this one's hilarious. Dude, I don't know how you rolled away from dude. that. Dude. And the fact that you. <laughs> dude, and then I was hit the car like, what? Yeah, where where is this gap? Uh, Chicago. Now, I, did you try to do it again because you landed kind of one foot, or were you guys were you just done? Like out, let's go. I'm out. No, that that gap was honestly so long mm. that like I was just kind of like, and the ground, the landing, so rugged, and we're on a trip with like a bunch of dudes. I didn't really want to hold up the day, right? Yeah. And like I don't know, I didn't really like. I don't know. I didn't really think it was even going to go in the part. I was kind of just like, oh, whatever. It'll go in like a little tour edit or something, worst case. That's and then so funny. It ended up going in the part. You know, it's, it, I whatever. can't really tell from this angle, but is, where you land, is it kind of like you're lowering uphill a little bit? A little uphill, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It definitely looks like. Because like the street kind of like has a little angle to it, so the water can probably go mm -hmm. to the gutter. Mm -hmm. Right. Damn. There was actually a car parked in the landing too, and Jameson uh, went and found the guy somewhere on the street and asked him to move his car and that's somehow a true, found him. true team manager right there well, James. i'm pretty sure yeah. you're probably the only dude that's ever done anything over it besides that's an crazy. ollie if that's the case like you know i've never seen anyone skate that yeah that's what I'm saying. or nobody's done it yeah <laughs> i want to say one other trick's gone down i can't remember i want to say maybe cairo 180 back okay. in the day oh wow okay maybe i probably have that wrong yeah i feel like you're similar to tommy guns like we're talking about him front side flipping over that rail. You just like come across something and you just find it. You're like, oh, dude, check this spot out. Yeah. You're like, this isn't a spot, dude, but I, <laughs> all right, let's get it. And he, he made it a spot. Yeah. <laughs> this is insane. This is in uh, Barcelona. No, is it Barcelona? Yep. Yeah, yeah, Barcelona. Uh, Fakey big flip. This fuck. Yeah. Breaks your tail. Oh, dude, snap the shit out. Not but the you landed perfectly. <laughs> you just broke the tail off. Yeah, I was so hyped on that one. Now, were you hyped on it because you broke your tail or? <laughs> <laughs> that and the fact that like I had big flipped it and be true years before. So to get it fakey was kind of like something that I had just mentally been prepping myself for. And Love the it. fact that I rolled away from it was just cool. And they were playing like a game of soccer down at the landing. So that was kind of a cluster in my yeah. head. It was just. Oh, man, that must have been a mind fuck for sure. They're always playing yeah. soccer. And then you don't want to be like the dude to be like, hey, dudes, can you guys just chill out for just like 10 minutes? Let me just get this like, you know. Yeah, even if you do do that, they don't care. They're yeah. like, what? Yeah. We don't give a fuck. <laughs> yeah, this, is our, this is our spot. Yeah. yeah. But and dude, just fakey big flip. I'd never really done down something that big. So it was kind of mm. like a milestone for me with that trick. Fuck yeah. yeah, I was going to say, since you said you did the big flip. But so the only reason to do the fakey big flip was because of the, the regular big flip. Yeah, I thought it would just be cool to like look back in my history years down the line yeah. and be like, I big flipped out for one part and then years later did it fakey. Because mm. I would say everyone that watched this clip kind of had the same reaction. They're like, holy shit. Like from that top end, you would never expect that. Right. Fakey big flip was it's amazing. Yeah. It's a good it's a it's a good one. Yeah. Very it's rare. It's a weird thing to do down something. Very rare. It seemed like an ideal angle for that trick. See how he turned yeah, into interesting. it. Man, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because it's, it's, like, mean, it's not mean, an alley oop type of deal, but it almost like, you know, it, it got him to get it fully around. You know what I'm saying, Chris? Mm -hmm. uh, you yeah, did it. I so <laughs> that's about, I mean, it's such a good spot. And I mean, you can kind of do anything you want there. People, dude, 
Tyshawn, half can flipped it hella good. Jamie he, Fakey heel. Fakey oh shit. my god. Yo, yeah, so now shit's been done though. Max Duranzi switch pop shove it. What did P Rod do back in the day? Was it switch front heel? Did he do that? Back Wonder- in the day. It sounds familiar. I mean, he totally He's, could. Yeah. There's I don't know. If something that P Rod would do down that thing. For sure. How many tries? I don't think it was quick. I think it took quite some time. Okay. Interesting. Twelve. <laughs> <laughs> It's a running yeah, theme here. Yeah. Fucking 16, no, I, 12. I just Jesus. feel like sometimes you, you can't sit there for, you know, two hours and try these mm-hmm. things, man. Like your body just can't do it, you know? So That's it's better good. to get them in, you know, like you said 12, 16, 16 tries. That trick though, with the momentum of the way I, the way I spin, mm-hmm. it's really nice because if I bail that trick, I usually just kind of finish the rotation to my back and then roll over it, roll out of it. Mm. So I take very little impact on my like ankles and knees. And you always clear shit by like a mile. I, know, I noticed that. You, <laughs> are, you always go fast. F- <laughs> well, you always go fast, bro. Like, you guys remember that San Diego Cinco de Slamo one? Where I landed on the whole last like three stairs. Dude, we <laughs> talked about that with Jeremy Ray. Oh, the, the triple set? Was that mm-hmm. the triple set? Yeah, yeah. 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 Arena. I think Jeremy like, Ray was tripping on you because he's like, what the fuck is this guy in? He has the confidence to land it in like firecracker, the lat, like just, yeah. What was it a back big spin? No. Back big and tray flip by clip both. <laughs> oh. uh, yes that's amazing Sasha needs a better roll in man <laughs> it seems like it bro did you know in the air that you were falling short and you were like oh fuck I don't care oh uh, nah honestly no not <laughs> yeah, until like I'm right. about to hit it and then I kind of just adjust my weight a little like lean back a little more so it like firecrackers it oh my gosh but if I don't catch it before even then I'll hit it and get pitched well here's your uh, Wal- Waldenberg stuff that's a tr- trip, bro. Psycho shit Hard right flip, there. little revert thing. That we were just man. This yeah, is from Ed, inward Ed, Ed, fucked. Etney's album as well. What's the story behind this, dude? Because you did both of these the same day. Yeah, the ghetto bird was third try, and if you go back <laughs> to that first angle, mm-hmm. uh, I think you can still see one of the filmers setting up, and he was like one of our filmers, like Etney's filmer. And uh, yeah, if you look right here, I want to say he's like holding the tripod in his hand. In the background? Yeah, he's setting up his tripod. So he's got his he's tripod setting in his hand, it up. Like extending it. He's um, like, hold and, on. And I roll away and I look at him as I'm rolling away. And he literally gives me like this, like kind of like, I don't want to say pissed off, but just like very upset, sad kind of look of like, <laughs> he really just did that. And I'm not even ready. And like, I was like, damn, dude. And on the way there, we were talking about like tricks to try and inward heel was one of them. And uh, he got honestly, that one I'm though. Not that, I'm not that confident with inward heels. I don't know how that ended up working out, but it did. And uh, wait, was it Sherman? Stoked. Sherman, yeah. Yay. Wait a minute. So you got there, you set the roll up, uh, and then you just went for it. And then the dude, he was just uh, setting all up. I did, I think, twice, and then just like hucked a ghetto bird once or twice, and then that was third try. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest with you, though, oh I, I'm, I'm, I'm just going to say it. I, I feel like. Waldenberg is 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 small for you. Um, I did clear a whole extra block. That's what I'm. Look, <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying, lying. like compared to the other things that you've done, I think Waldenberg is a little small. I think you could fuck I that mean, thing up yeah. if you you. I mean, he did fuck he it did. up, dude. Inward heel flip. Both maybe? of those tricks are not being done again. Yeah, like well, you we'll know what see, I mean. We'll no, yet to be I, seen. I, I feel like he could do a many, many, many more tricks down yeah. it. Like you could back big spin. We're talking about going back and doing something. Maybe. Yeah. So wait, did Sherman get the inward heel? Yeah, he got the inward heel. Dope. At least he made up for the the, the one he missed. Did he ask you to no, do it again? Didn't, he didn't ask me to do it again. Oh, actually, you know what? He might have asked me to do it again, and I was like, "I'll just if I'm going to jump down it again, I'll try something else." Try yeah, something you know? else. Yeah, I'll, <laughs> there I'll, give, you, I'll give you something else. <laughs> yeah, dude. To be honest with you, you did that very perfect, perfect. dude. I've never Look even seen you do right. that trick. Like, yeah. that's why I laugh so hard because I'd never see you do inward heel flips. Uh, so I came home from that trip and I showed the bones to him, Jared. And he's like, what's up? You only do inward heels in SF because the only other one I think I had in, in footage at that time was down the Franklin 14. Oh my god! I'd be stoked to do it in a fucking three step. Like, what's yes, the, what's go. the what's the key to that trick, dude? Because there's two different ways. We talk about Daniel Castillo way of doing the inward heel flip, and mm-hmm. you this is like a a heel that's flip. A, yeah, that's there's a, a flip involved, yeah. man. Is there any advice you could give me? 
So I kick my foot out kind of directly in front of me, if you see there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like straight in front rather than like, I don't know, like the way it catches my foot kind of, it's like, I don't know how to explain it. The way it catches the flick is like it levels it out as it shoves rather than just barely clipping it so that it still goes, I guess you could say musca in a way. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, The mm -hmm. musca inward heel. This is kind of more so like the... To the me, Herman that's the proper way to do it. No, it's, you did it the proper way. Yeah. How do you? The, uh, I, just, I, I think they're both proper no, though. The one that Daniel away, does, not even taking away from like how Dio does it. Totally. There's just different ways. For sure. But like the way that Daniel does it, it couldn't have gone down that set. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? True. I have a hard time understanding how you would bail on an inward heel flip. Does that mm-hmm. make sense? Mm-hmm. That's where I'm like, okay, you may be able to do it, but to be able to catch it like that, and I don't know, I think my legs would get tangled. I was going to say, it seems like you get tangled up, huh? Yeah, it's some scary, dude. Well, I always found that the inward heel is an interesting trick because the way that you you kick your foot and the way that it flips, you kind of lose sight of it for like a, fra- for like oh, a yeah. split yes. second. You yes. lose sight of it and then it kind of magically kind of comes back around and you, it's either c- coming back around good or not. You know yeah, what I mean? It's kind of yeah. just commitment, honestly. At that for point, me, it's just like I do my switch ones how Daniel does his. Oh, oh interesting. Okay. So, like for me, like going down the little small three at EMB, there wasn't it wasn't a, a huge gap. It was more so of a drop. Mm-hmm. So I was able to jump. I was able to do the switchward in, inward heel down that mm-hmm. because and make it over it because I didn't have to really go the distance. Yeah. With this, I, I wouldn't try no switch in the heel <laughs> down this because I wouldn't, I wouldn't be able to make the distance. Right. That's funny. I do, when I do my switch ones, I do them like the way Chris does them regular. Oh, like I, I have that flick, but I mean, I wouldn't be confident enough to try that. That'd be yeah. insane still. It's kind of like uh, Tony Taves and This Is My Element. His yeah. Nolly one kind of goes the way you guys are talking. Yep. Yeah. Versus like Herman's kind of go this way. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. But Nolly's kind of, Nolly's just a different breed. Nolly's yeah. A, it's almost a whole different trick. It totally so is. Do you do fakey one? I've seen you do fakey, right? I did La Yada. That's the only one I've ever done. Oh. I do want to do another one though. Have you done a inward heel flip recently? Uh, no, no. This is the the last one. last one I done. I don't even really do it like for Instagram clips either. It's just one of those ones that's on the back burner. Comes out when it needs to. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's a good trick to have on the back burner. Fuck yeah! Let me tell you something. You got to keep some hidden, like you guys were talking about when you put out parts. Like yeah. if everyone sees everything on Instagram, then no doubt it's not yeah. going to have that like impact in parts. I feel you. There you go. That's a big thing different these days, bro. You really do. That's a big discussion. I had a homie Kevin Parrott hit me up. Same thing today. He's like, yo, you guys got to talk about that or highlight that more about the whole, the tricks in the Instagram, the video parts, please. Yeah. Kevin Parrott, the guy from the homie from UK. Yeah. He hit me up talking about that. And I was like, dude, you know, it's funny. I think we do talk about that quite often. We do. Yeah. A lot of these Instagram clips, I bug out. I'm like, dude, I would have saved that. You know, but that's just, you know. That's where we are with skateboarding, man. Yeah, it's, it's evolved quite a bit. Or you just be like Chris and having the back burner, throw it out every now and then. Throw it you out, know. bro. There you go. Oh, you talking about Chris Joslin? <laughs> yeah. Oh, my bad. <laughs> yeah, Instagram's a funny topic. I mean, I, I try to post a lot, but I try to also not like give it my all. You know what I mean? Like, right. I, I'm very, I'm, I try to be very consistent with it because, like you guys are saying, like that's what sponsors like. They like to see you promoting content, and kids love it. Sure. Um, but like for example, in a in a three minute video part or four minute video part, there's so many tricks that like you could get away with doing maybe a handful of tricks on Instagram a lot and then saving a lot for video parts only. True. Or like, for example, when you post on Instagram, there's skate parks, which like have your, your average like hip or your ledge or your little Mm -hmm. down rail. But when you film for a video part, a lot of times it's like spots that aren't at skate parks, you know? So you wouldn't have even had the opportunity to film that trick for Instagram. Kids just want to see you skate, man. You post a couple little skate park Instagrams, it's fine. Yeah. yeah. Don't give it away, though, you know? Yeah. Uh, Hollywood. Hollywood High. Back big spin. This was a beautiful back big spin, man. Ooh. That thing just... Whoosh, that thing just fucking perfect. This is from uh, B, uh, Plan B, B True. Yeah. That's how... I mean, look at the feet are bolts. Like... That, it was... Perfect. Yeah, that's been your trick for a minute, dude. The big spins. At this point in time, I didn't really have it as con- I had it like I could do it, but I didn't have it as consistent as I do now. Now it's like 
if I don't do it first try, I get a little upset. I'm like, what the hell? <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> yeah, because I do it so much. Like, it's an everyday thing down something, whether it's hmm. a little drop or whatever. It's just every day. I'll tell you it what. It feels so good. It's a good looking trick down mm-hmm. stuff. It's a good looking I trick. Did, I trip out that it feels natural to you when you land fakey. I feel like that would be harder. Like a tray flip for me, that's like my go to because I'm going, I land, landing. going the regular, you know, right. going goofy or whatever. But does not bother you landing fakey? No, honestly, I feel more comfortable landing fakey or switch than regular. Why is that? So I have no idea. <laughs> Why is that? I have no idea, honestly. <laughs> So crazy. I love that. Like backside flips, frontside flips, back heels, just they're just a lot more comfortable. All right, since we're still on the back big spin thing, this <laughs> the MACBA back big spin into the street. That did you go over the totally. can? Went, yeah. Oh my god. I mean, it looks like it from this angle because, like, in theory, I did go past it, but sure. I was a little to the side of it because, um, if you look at it, I don't know if you can pause it. I was aiming to go where the lines are, and if you look at the can, if you go directly mm. to the right of the can, there's a curb, and I land kind of where the like bank was, if you look, mm. just uh, barely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you kind of have to, though, because see that curb right there? If you look at how close I got to that, if I would have went directly over the can... You would have run the into the curb. Oh, yeah. I would have run into the curb, yeah. So you kind of have to find the fine-tuned medium of it. Hmm. Yeah, and since then I've seen people skate that thing, and they'll kind of go into the, the little bank it. or something, yeah. or or go or fall into the trash can. I've seen one guy oh fall into that. Was the best? Yeah, dude. I've seen that. No. Well, I heard he was on like acid or something. Oh, he God. had to have been. And, <laughs> <laughs> he didn't have enough speed. Man. He was cruising into that dude. I was dying. I'm sorry that happened to you. No, that was hilarious, but, man. No. It was a switch backside flip, wasn't it? That's yeah. what he was trying. Like and he, he just switched backside trash. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck. Like wow. how, you're just like cruising you, if i was like yo the speed didn't look right no bro. the whole thing didn't look right bro <laughs> yeah this is not gonna look good <laughs> but uh were you the first one to skate that guy i feel like he was chris fanner uh ollie did i want to say oh okay. and i wanted to just back 180 it i don't know if i talked to you guys about this i just wanted to back 180 it but denman was like no nah, dude you could big spin this oh shit so i was like maybe you're right <laughs> Damn, that's awesome. And like that you said, like, at the time you had back, that was your ch- shit, back big spins. No, yeah, no, it kind of was. Still but is. It, I, I knew how to do it at that point. Okay, okay. <laughs> wasn't like my go-to, but it was definitely, I was getting more comfortable with it at that time. There you go. Because this uh, is from B True also. Yeah, I was, uh, yeah. so this is my first Plan B trip ever, actually. Oh, wow. It was, uh, I was like 16, 17. I was still in DC. Those Damn. are links, so. I mean, come Good on, Lord. bro. Wait, how old are you now, Chris? Uh, I'll be 25 in two months, there Mark. There you go, bro. Happy Amazing. birthday, man. And this Quarter is what century. I'm talking yeah. about. How? Yeah, yeah, for sure. I'm saying Waldenberg isn't... Wall- Wall- Wallenberg. Wallenberg. Waldenberg. <laughs> you're <laughs> running, you're want, running with the Waldenberg. Yeah, you, it, do you have a hard time saying that? Yeah. Wallenberg. No, because every time I say Wallenberg, you go, well, Waterberg. You said Waterberg. You said Waterberg. No, you said you said Waldenberg. You Waldenberg. Said- <laughs> Eisenberg. <laughs> Eisenberg. What I'm trying to say is I don't think... I don't think... <laughs> I'm, that's what I'm saying. I think Waldenberg to you is small. <laughs> I love it. That's wrong with it. Look right? at this. <laughs> look what look at what you're doing here, bro. And you're telling me that Waldenberg is big. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. There's nothing more disrespectful to anything than calling it the wrong name. You guys, like, everybody knows what I mean, dude. Come on, man, Waldenberg. <laughs> <laughs> That's I ins- like it. I like it, Chris. Waldenberg. Waldenberg. <laughs> Let's run it, dude. Let's it's go. different every time. So I was so focused on the way you said it, I, I still haven't understood the question. <laughs> well, I'm saying, I'm looking at this and I'm saying Waldenberg is small for you. That's what I'm trying to say. Potentially. You could probably line them up and they're not too much of a difference in, you think? in size. That might be this, I, this a is, little bit this, taller. The length, though. The this length? might be a little t- taller, I think. Might be a yeah. little longer, too, eh? Yeah. yeah. I think it's just a little bit bigger. I don't think it's taller. You think it's taller? I dude, Honestly, I can't really tell. I think it's longer it, based I on the height. The, I think the top of Wallenberg kind of comes to, like, maybe my eye level or a little lower. And that was, like, That's a little above my head. Definitely yeah. taller. Yeah. Go. Huh. What do you think you're going faster with this trick than you do on Wallenberg? 
Well, I think I went the same speed, but I cleared Wallenberg by a lot more. Yeah, you did. Machma's a lot smoother, too. Machma's in. And definitely that the pop off the marble is nice. Yeah, that buttery-ass marble. I was able to push it this for, like, a quarter of a mile. I know, right? That's true, too. It's super comfortable, like, yeah, set up. I mean, less tricks have been done on that thing. Yeah. It's very... I mean, I was there when Aurelian Hard flipped it, actually. Oh, you were there? Yeah, It was, like, during a street league. Were you... You must have been there. It was one of the... Barcelona stuff. The year before I was in, the oh. year before I got invited, maybe. I remember seeing him, and it was like place was packed, and we're all there for street league. And this kid, we didn't know who he was yet, just hard flipping it, hmm. and it, this, and that, that's how I found out who Aurelian Gerard was. Wow. But he was like, he reminded me of you. I was like, oh, it's like a little Chris Jocelyn coming through. But yeah, Shit, man. now he's now he's the big me. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, big dog is flying, fucking doing his thing. That dude's beast. No, but seriously, congratulations on this trick, man. It just, it looks beautiful. It's gnarly as hell. Fuck and man. like, yeah, at the time, nobody was doing this over Mac. Grand Molina, I think Frontside flipped it too, maybe. Did he? That's the only other trick I think. Somebody Frontside flipped it. I don't know if it was Fran or... Fran is fucking good. I've never seen him skate a big gap like that, but I'm sure he could like Frontside flip up that ledge or something like that. Ooh, I swear he's been <laughs> in the game for so long yeah. too, hasn't he? He's been around for a minute. Yeah. Yeah. Cause I remember like when I was a kid, I remember seeing him around and stuff, like in videos and stuff. Any other tricks you wanted to try over that or that that was that's good for you? That was it. That was it, huh? Okay. <laughs> yeah. Because the top is waxed from people skating it. That's so true. it was kind of scary, honestly. I that's was like worried true. I was going to slip and just like be. And that that's a trick where you would slip out because yeah. your weight, right. your yeah. weight distribution. And you're right, landing right. into and a landing. street. Yeah. It, 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 like cars are driving by. Well, you got Tori there spotting. Yeah, that bus actually blocked Bragg's angle because Tori st- stopped him right in front of the camera. And, no. Uh, there was another dude there that was like filming just random stuff, but like had a dope angle, dope angle. And uh, we tried to get the clip from him and he was like, yeah, let me just take a photo with Sheckler and I'll send you guys the clip. And so he took a photo with Shex and like months went by and never sent us the clip, never sent us the clip. And long story short, I don't think we ever got the clip or if we did, it wasn't in time for the video. Oh but, my God. Uh, no, yeah, what a big goof. ordeal. What a big goof. That was the only clip. That was the only angle you had. That's going this into, one. Yeah. Yeah, it was Hoops' angle. Damn. Wow. How come nobody's going to send you a... That's insane. Yeah, and, I mean, you, you, got, and you got you your fi- request. If you're out there filming some other dude and they, you, they already have their media squad there yeah. and you're just kind of poaching yeah. and you can't yeah. send them the clip, it's kind of messed up. I, I think that's <laughs> dude, as fuck. I skated that same spot. Winkle filmed my last trick in the It's Official. He didn't send me that clip until 20 years... Like, like that was in 2004. Five and he just sent it yesterday. He just sent it last year. <laughs> he did, like, hey, like it's, it's he, good well, we all know. Things. We all know Winkle. Though, yeah. you know? <laughs> so at least I, he I sent know, it to you. I know what you're going True. through. I know what you're going through at that spot. But you, so, oh, so you only had one angle for its official too, then? Uh? Yeah, that one side angle that they use. But there was another angle that, like, literally Winkle's rolling like with me on it, and then just never sent never the footage. <laughs> I think a back big spin would look so sick filmed from above. Ooh, yeah. Yeah. What I'd do you love mean to above? see and or film above. from above and, and seeing you go, you know, just film from above. You could see the board spinning. You could see your body turning. You know, like drone shot? Oh, like directly above. Directly drone above. Shot, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it would look yeah. sick. And fisheye. I think fisheye fish eye would look like flying yeah. out like that hmm. yeah, uh, uh, from uh. the ledge. Man. So good, Chris. Let me tell you something. This one is from Edney's album. And uh, I love this so much, man. Jeez. Back 360 kickflip. And then you had the sense to ollie over the hook. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, I kind of talked about that one a little bit in the My War. They were like cleaning off the spot. They right. were like not trying to let us skate it. And uh, they gave us like five to ten minutes or something. And uh, I didn't want to like kind of abuse what they gave us. So I just left the cord there, pushed it up a little bit to where if I rolled away, I felt like I could make it over it. Yeah. That's so crazy. That's just but, what happened. But just to land a back three kickflip and then just roll and then have the sense to ollie over it, like that's, <laughs> that's some skill, bro. I love that you know? Willow caught your shirt. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> so sick, yeah. Well, yeah, we that watched this funny. again. Yeah, Willow. <laughs> and I tried it like That's a right. year before, rolled my ankle super gnarly on it. Oh, seriously? Kind of like, as much as like, 
I don't know. It wasn't really a battle because I went there once, tried a few times, rolled my ankle, and just went back and did it. It still like was this whole year of waiting until like I just had the reason to go back to Cologne to try it again. Because it's not like oh, I'm gonna just heal up and go back to Cologne because it's that close. It's like no, it's right, a right, right. long way away from home. So you went there specifically to do that trick. Yeah, but we planned kind of this whole like little mini trip around it. Oh, okay. Um, that was actually at. Uh, do you remember when SLS had the Munich stop? Yeah. Um, I think I actually might have won the the diamond best trick that you did. Time. I did oh, the okay. trick five on the bump ledge. You did. I think it was blue. a. I think it was the little the, the special stuff that I had shipped out and I gave you Uh-oh. some of it because I know oh, you were yeah. st- you special sauce. That? It was some special yeah. stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I had some shit shipped out. Damn. You know. <laughs> And uh, I sprinkled off Chris, like, because whatever, I could tell he was in a mode of, like, fucking, he needed some shit. And it worked out, dude. I know I had some good shit at that time. (laughs) How was it, Chris? (laughs) A1. Yes. Hey, he won the best trick. There you go. Set it off. I love that, dude. Oh, dude, I think it was the same trip. I was, like, out one night with Evan, and we were smoking at this fountain. And these, uh, this dude was, like, butt naked jumping in the fountain and, like, being all crazy and then he took off and me and evan were just like chilling there smoking and cops rolled up i think because the guy mm. but we were smoking and evan had like a i want to say like a quarter or maybe even like yeah a quarter of weed on him, like seven grams and i had this little piece of hash and like they rolled up and i i put the i put the little piece in my in my pocket and like right before they rolled up and so they rolled up evan had this quarter on him and they like start searching us and whatnot and it was in my coin pocket this little piece of hash so they didn't find that but they found the quarter on evan and uh, they found the quarter on Evan, and I didn't. They didn't find what I had, so uh, I ended up like just kind of getting off. I mean, I was yeah, like, you were so telling me the story. You were telling me the story as I was giving the <laughs> as I was giving you the shit. Oh, so, really? Yeah, yeah. That happened yeah, the night I, before, uh, I believe. Damn. Yeah, I was. I think I just had my daughter at the time. It was like 2017. I just had my daughter, and he's like, "Oh man, like." So I was going to stay and like find out what happens with him because I wasn't just going to bounce on him, you know. But yeah. he was like, "Oh man, just go back to the hotel. Like you're clear. I got this." So, like, I know you got a family and stuff, like, chilling. I was like, damn. Wow. He's a stand-up He's dude, man. man. Yeah. Stand-up dude. Stand up, dude. Love that guy. Definitely. Um, This was in your uh, Etney's welcome video, and we, I just want to know what the hell you were thinking. Uh, this is the longest line I've ever seen <laughs> going downhill. I don't, it's, what, what are you doing, bro? What, was the purpose just to get that first couple tricks and you just kept going, or, or what, what? Or you just say, hey, let me try to go as far as I can. What, what were you doing? Yeah, I was just kind of like, yeah, floating, just off the sauce. Just wanted to cruise. Off the sauce. <laughs> yes. Off the sauce. Yes. Okay. Just follow me. No, but look how long this line. This is like a two-minute line. Like, like this is my this. whole video part. You know, I'm like, oh, man, if I could do a line that long, fill up that much time. Yeah, did you stuffed. plan this out? Or are you just like, I'm just going to go and see what happens? Uh, yeah, me and Mike both were just like, hey, if I land the tricks, we'll just keep it flowing, see what happens. There's only like maybe five or six tricks, but the like downhill factor of it, Mike's yeah. always down for it. He loves that shit. I'm impressed with his, uh, how he navigated that sidewalk with Ooh, the camera. Right there, yeah. those cracks. True. Yeah. Crazy. Where was this? That's in LA. Yeah, it definitely looks like LA terrain. I love it though. You just kept, <laughs> you just kept going. And then you're like, okay. Right there, you're yeah. like, well, no more. Oh, we were planning to, we wanted to get something to drink, and there was a store down there at the bottom. So we like, we're like, <laughs> yeah. oh, okay, if we make it down there, then we'll stop in the store and grab a drink. And so you got to earn that drink. Wow. Okay. Yeah. I just thought it was funny. It's a long, long line, man. Start off with a firecracker. You're like, where is he going? Where is yeah, he right. going? <laughs> yeah, the whole thing was just kind of for fun. A little firecracker, no comply, switch tail 270. The spot itself, though, if I could have got like a real line there, I thought it was pretty sick. Cause you go down a four stair and curve, mm-hmm. and then you hit like a little low to high ledge. So if you do something like like a real trick down the four, and then a real trick on the ledge, it's a pretty cool looking spot. Definitely not your average LA spot. Right. It's sick. It's so amazing. I love. We it. We almost hit this lady right here. Mike's like, Shh, yo yo. Wow. So this was a. Uh, well, this was well. Welcome to Etney's. Um, what year was this? 2015 maybe 15 really 16 okay. i don't know i'm guessing i think so yeah i think you're about right it was like right around the time be true came out be true okay and that was november 2014 it's about to say end of 14 
It's almost been seven years since that video came out. This so is crazy. Crazy. Listen, man. I mean, dude, I I want to say some because Chris, I I remember first seeing you come on the scene, but I started with skating with you in 2014, and I remember seeing you just as a kid trying, like you know, I think you were living at your grandma's house. You were kind of struggling, trying to support yourself. And to see where you are right now and having like the family, I'm like super proud of you mm. about what you've done and what you've accomplished. Because you're actually the first new generation skateboarder. I've seen it from the bottom to where you're at now. And it's like really cool to see. Yeah. Hell yeah. Thank I want to say man. congratulations Appreciate on that. that. Yeah. Yeah, dude. What you've done, becoming like doing the street skating contests as well. It's it's pretty amazing, man. Hell yeah. Thank you. Yeah, and man. you got respect from like, you know, I think all aspects of skateboarding, you know how some people get kind of put into these little boxes and shit. I think that you've kind of penetrated all aspects. So it's like, you know, you, you come through with the video part, you come through with like just shit on Instagram, you come through with like contests. So I think everybody kind of has that, you know, that admiration. And so, you know, yeah, big yeah. ups to you for sure, Chris. For sure. Yeah. Yeah. And you get Thank you guys and you get Reynolds. Yeah. Saying there some you good go. stuff, you you're like, oh, that's skating what's up. speak for itself. Yeah, yeah there you dude. go. Oh, that's awesome, man. You guys just warm my heart. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> man. We do over here at Nine Club. Yeah. Warm heart. <laughs> yeah. The heart awesome. warmers. Yeah. Uh, what about Clipper, dude? Kind of a weird trick to do on it, but it worked out beautifully, man. Nolly flip fifty fifty. Dude, it was crazy. I don't think I had ever done that trick before in my I, life before I, I went it. to that spot. <laughs> I love it, man. First time. Yeah, first time ever doing that trick, I want to say. Now, what so. just it just was enticing, or you just said, "Oh, I think I could." Like, what did Joe Brook like uh, ask you if you could do it? No, I think just kind of Apple Yards Nolly Flip back back fifty being Ooh. so monumental in my head. I just kind of thought like, "Oh, well, maybe I could do that front side." Like, I don't That's know, sick, incredible. It's like seriously, I guess Apple Yard pretty much inspired that one, and just like the way the hubba is formed, like it's kind of like not steep, but like. If you can just kind of get your trick to where you need it to go, it, it'll just work. I nollie flipped onto it maybe like four or five times before actually locking in my truck. Oh, then, really? The grind, yeah. Did you like ride down it? Yeah, nollie flipped onto it and like rolled down it a few times. That's amazing. That's, that that's even insane. scarier yeah. than, than locking into a 50-50. Because it's more and like landing precise. Can you imagine like yeah. a nollie flip like manual down that? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Well, that, I wonder that if that was, ever happened to Apple Yard. I wonder if you ever nollie flipped onto it because it's so round. You sometimes might even think you're grinding, but you're really not. You know. But I know yeah. what you're saying about Apple Yard's uh, nollie flip fifty. Uh, so good. He looked like he was asleep when he did that. Yeah. He always right. looks like he's asleep. Yeah. I love the the slow mo on the fifty fifty. The lock in in the grind down it. Obviously, mm. the landing was incredible too. But did you want to try five zero after this or no? Oh no! No way! No. It looks like you're kind of going. Kinda, you know, that's why I was it. asking. Yeah. Like you could have oh, just no. did it. I think I just kind of somehow on that one landed a little more towards the back of my board. Yeah. Yeah. Look right here. You can almost. Oh, you yeah, well, landed on the back truck first. Yeah. For sure. Cool. Okay. It's all angles with seriously with spots, man. Like you're just like, damn, this could work. You know what I mean? Like spots still there. It is. That's true. I, I thought they were like, didn't they do something Thrasher event there? I thought they were like ruining it after or something or like tearing it down. Yeah, I heard they were gonna put an elevator, but instead they just kept the stairs. Painted and it and everything. Yeah. I, don't know. <laughs> I was tripping on that. Cause like Shane Bixman back tailed it. Yeah, I remember that. They just did that to like hype the shit up and people just went all out. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's gonna be gone after this. <laughs> no, it's all good guys. It's, it's, it's same here. Still there. All heart switch heel back five. Oh, oh yeah. Did you guys hear about Vincent Malou recently? Yeah. He like hmm. smacked right. his head, right? Oh, Super no. hard. He got knocked out, yeah. Really? Oh man. Like yeah. we talked I talked about it in the show. Like he did the trick and the photographer missed it. They asked oh, him to oh, reshoot okay. it and he got smoked. Dude, Dude, it's so funny how so many people hear about that exact story. And yeah. like nobody was there. We just, or none of us were there. We just hear it through the grapevine and it's not like, message oh. board. Uh, no, we I, I don't hear that through the What's message that? board. Oh, you heard this Kelly like, got real shit. Yeah, I mean that's kind of I think he posted it on his Instagram. Mm -hmm. I think he had said it. Like a, uh, I don't know. I just I heard it for through you. I remember that. Yeah, that's the worst what? to get smoked by a trick, and it wasn't like on your like I was gonna do it myself. Like someone else told me to do it. Well, we always God. talk it about happens. the, the photographer. Yeah. And listen, they're they're just trying to get a dope shot. You know, it's not it's nothing against them, but you know, it works it, sometimes, it and you get the trick. Don't yeah. get me wrong; it goes both ways, but it just sucks when you get hurt. Yeah, totally. Had like that's why I was concerned. Like you said, you hurt your. uh your knee recently and i was like please don't tell me you landed it and then you did it again 
and then you got hurt. But at least you try a different trick. Right. A different trick. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was so, so crazy too. I could like kind of sense that it first like I don't know. I should have paid more attention to it or been more aware of what was going on. But so I was trying the nollie half cap heel, and every try for like ten tries straight before I stuck it, I was doing nollie half cap heel switch like tail grab. I kept grabbing my board and yanking it out from under. Oh, wow. And really? like, for some reason I could not commit to it. I would just like, was psyching myself out, could not stick it. And then the one try where I was like, okay, do not grab your board, stick it. And then that happened. I like stuck it back foot kind of slipped off and I like did the splits, Dude. but my knee bent and sat on it. So crazy how your body and your mind are kind of like already working before something devastating can happen. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. you're just like already preparing you know, and yeah, you just didn't listen get, to your, you know. I get scared and stuff like that. Because you'll yeah. think about, wait, what if I get hurt right here? Like, you can't let your brain yeah. say that to yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. You can't. Mm-hmm. You can't. Not in this shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, you got to go. Yeah. But yeah, it was kind of leading me to believe that, like, now I should probably learn that nollie half cap heel switch tail grab. Because, <laughs> <laughs> like, dude, there were a couple of tries where, like, I literally held it to the ground and then yanked it out last second. And I was like, Wow. I probably could have like done that. I don't know. That you should do. Now. Shit, that, that would be would amazing. Have, yeah, you should do you, that. Footage of that. Would, oh god! If it was filmed properly, it would be like that. Would get people wow. fucking tripping. Yeah. Like if Cepeda just did that nollie crook tail grab on a rail. I know it's a little different, but mm-hmm. it's just kind of like feel like it's what we're gonna come to eventually. So yeah. many tricks are getting done, hey, and new ones are popping we're up. Running out of shit, just start grabbing. And you see people <laughs> having fun doing that shit. They're That's not true. even like. I mean, not that they're not doing it seriously, but they're like. Let me just try this yeah. shit. Yeah. See how this works out. Mm-hmm. I saw an Instagram clip. <laughs> was it yesterday or uh, Ronnie Krieger skating a curb and then doing a, a fakey Benny Hanna, bro? Oh. I was like, what? He, he's so good. He's I know. So I saw your you're like comment. You're like, dude, you're so good. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, dude, you're the best <laughs> on yeah. flat ground. Yeah, it's like you're. Wow, how do you yeah. get the pop for that? I don't know, bro. But he he's he's good. Legendary. This right here, I always trip out on this because. It's it's huge, and how how is how is skating this bump to to street? Is it is the bump good, or is it just um, shitty bump? It's not so much a bump; it's more so just an uphill takeoff, which gives you a little bit of leverage. Okay, mm-hmm. okay. The more, I mean, you think about it: if you went that fast off a good bump, you're flying. Yeah, yeah. but this if you go that fast true. off an uphill takeoff, you get what you get. Right, yeah. right. That makes sense. Uh, who was driving the bike? Scotty Lowe. Scotty Lomax. Okay. Okay. How many, Although, tri- homie. how many tries did this take you? Oh, that was a battle. Was it? That was a battle. Like, I want to say like an hour and a half, maybe. Oh, oh, I feel okay. like every story I've heard in that spot, it's a battle. It's not. Like, it's sure. not a fun spot. If you look at the top view, that landing is just crucial. Look at that. Yeah, that's that's Ooh, horrible. Insane. And it's worse now. It's like the whole patch is like that one little patch now. I went oh. back there recently to check it out because there's a triple set in the front um, that I nolly flipped with the blue wall. Mm. Mm. I don't know if that rings a bell, but there's that triple set in the front, and there's a gate now, so you can't skate that. That's so the high, right? Yeah. Oh, okay. So I had to that go back. Is? I was going to go back because I tried to fake you frontside flip the triple set, but I went to check it out one day because I was in the area and there's a gate now in the front that like stops it. But aren't there other bumps there as well? Or no, is that the only um, bump there? That's the only one, I think, yeah, I'm from what I know. Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, there's yeah. a triple set and there's also like, um, I think there's a rail there too that goes down, like, down a bank. Hmm. The yellow one? I believe so, yeah. Hmm. Okay. What do you? What, Amazing. Do you feel sketchy at all, like, right, or holding on to the motorcycle? Um, at certain points, yeah. Like right before you let go at the peak of the speed, yeah, it gets a little sketchy. You're like, mm-hmm. fuck, dude. If I if I fall under this bike or if I fall right now, because like you lose a lot of speed from the time you pop to the time you land, mm-hmm. or even just going up the bank. But at the peak of your speed, if you fall off it, you're you're yeah, you're falling at a good like twenty five miles an hour That's probably. To say, and like a, he he has to know how fast to go too. Yeah, where, how like, do you find the speed? Like, do, are you testing it? There are times that you just fly over it. And you're like, oh, I was a little too fast. There was a time where I flew past that gravel the first try. <laughs> I flew past that gravel. <laughs> Like, Slow it like down a little bit. Yeah, I was like, hey, keep it in, keep it in first. Huh? Yeah, yeah, shit. <laughs> wow, Straight up. man. Ain't trying to roll I up the windows here. What would yeah, you do? Um, 
I can't say that on this show because then what? I have messages for the rest of my come on till my come next on. part of like where's this trick? Okay. So no, true. I don't know. It'd be cool to back three kickflip it though. Yes, mm. it would be. Yeah, anything over That's, that would be is cool, man. It's such so a, much has gone down surprisingly. Yeah. Now. I mean, not so much, but it's been back heel, yeah, switch front heel, yep, um, laser flip, big heel, switch front heel. Hey, you know what's a, a random um, one? Oh yeah, TJ Rogers switch front heel. Yeah. Dude, I've never se- I've seen people do it, but not like a proper one, like a back three kickflip. What about front side three sixty kickflip? Mm-hmm. Let's go. But like. But like Reynolds style, does that make sense? Uh, uh, like yeah, even like you're like you know like you you kick. It's like I don't even know how to explain it. But do you remember the one he did on the bump? Let's go the one he did on the bump over the ditch in Downey. The OG bump. It's kind of like this spot, but oh, like a little smaller. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I want to say it was in United by Fate. Huh. That's probably the best one and the only one I think that's ever gone down on. Yeah, I something. guess he's the yeah. only one to really do that trick. Yeah, William Fan. Yeah, he did a good. Too. He was. He did that trick really good. Like yeah. which Chris? It's Cole? very limited on that one. That's yeah. for sure. Or yeah. to make it look like it was. Damn, I want to try that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I think, what do they call it? The El Nino flip at one point. The switch front side 360 kick flips. Is it? I don't. I, I remember at that time when El Nino was going on. I would look at the magazines and it'd be like El switch El Nino. <laughs> El <flip."> Nino. <laughs> <I was like, laughs> Speaking of let's go and front three cake flips, one of the first times I ever went skating with Deville, we were skating that Lake Forest double set, um, the one on the corner, Kelly, five five five, or the four flat five, or whatever it is, yeah, five flat four, yeah, something yeah. like that. Hmm. And let's go was actually trying front three sixty cake flip on that no at way. night, mm-hmm. and I was like fourteen or fifteen, and the cops pull up, and Deville's like, "Hey, here, take my keys, go hide in the car, dude," because I was like a minor at the time, and like, <laughs> I don't know, I'm sure I would have been fine because I was with adults, but it just probably wouldn't have looked good on their end. Like sure. we were doing bringing a kid out at midnight, lighting up spots, like. Did Let's Guy ever do front side 270 flip to nose blunt? Maloof Money Cup. Yeah. Dude, that is that's gnarly. Yeah, that was psycho. Yo, he did some gnarly he did. shit. Yeah, dude. he did. Yeah. Damn, dude. Maybe uh, try it over the scap. Front side 360. Yeah, front side 360. There you go. There you go. What it's about all... the front three heel flip that just came out um, over the Bezos bump? Jake bump Anderson? Yeah. Oh, I didn't see that. Oh, you you saw that. It was a while ago. We had it on the show. Yeah, oh, did saw we? It. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 I think we talked about Everyone saw about. that. Yeah. It, he did. It was good. Yeah, it came out so like. So good. Probably like within six months to a year ago. Oh, wow. Okay. Mm. Yeah. He did it good. We watched so many, so much skating on the show. Yeah. Yeah. That just reminded me. We talked all about Wallenberg and Brandon Switch Harflow didn't come up once. That's crazy. Oh, yeah. It well, was so insane. Yeah. It's yeah, incredible. I mean, definitely incredible. I can't believe that didn't ring a bell in my head and be like, dude, how sick was that? Well, it's like so recent and we've talked about it so much that you're trying to think of tricks back then that weren't even, you know what I mean? Like, uh, I always trip yeah. out that like Lindsey Robertson, what are you back heel it or something? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You're yeah. like, Cody was, Mack back big and dude, yeah. Cole, switch front side flip. Again, I bring up TJ, switch front three. Switch front three, switch front big. Switch front big. Damn. That switch front big was probably the best one ever done down something too. Wait, like did he glue to his feet? Did yeah. he switch front three it, or did he just do switch big spin? I was about to say switch front three. I don't even. Three? I don't remember switch front three. Maybe I'm tripping. Yeah. I, I wouldn't yeah. put it past him, but maybe it was a switch big spin. That would have been fucked. Was that at a contest thing, or was it a, just a normal? For free. I think for, it was for, for, free. <laughs> for, 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 for the love. Yeah, yeah. This is for free, dog. <laughs> yeah. Talk about it. We can talk about it after. No, motherfucker. I need to see the footage. Fuck, dog, it's man. for free. <laughs> Not for free. <laughs> I love that. Well, Chris, man, I'm I can't I wait for 2021 to be over so I could see this video part, bro. Yeah, I'm hyped. It's Straight up. working. I'm working pretty hard on it, even though it's only been a couple months. But I've definitely in the last like since my surgery, I've gotten some of the clips I'm more ha- happy about since then. Oh, speaking of clips, I got this. Oh, oh, what? What do you got? Yeah, another oh, surprise. Gonna, Is he gonna be the to, yeah, first person to ever show to. us a clip? Actually. Wait, let's see. You're going to have to black out this part. Because you guys were just talking about it. There it is. The one that ended her career. What is this? What is this? Oh, that's his... Oh! Is that your wife? She made it down the roll-in, though, bro. So she (laughs) actually had done it a couple of times, and she let someone borrow her board, and they loosen the trucks, and that's why you can see she gets speed wobbles at the bottom and flies Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wow. You lend somebody your board, and they loosen your trucks? 
Yeah. That's that, that, that that's, really skates? You can't no, no, do no, that. No, 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 no. But yeah. that, that, that's a no no. Yeah. That, that's. <laughs> you can't do She's that. Stoked. You, said you can't that. do that. She was bummed that they did that too. <laughs> you can't loosen somebody else's <laughs> trucks, man. Wow. That is totally Sabotage. disrespectful. That is. Yeah, not cool. Especially going down like a little incline like that. You're going to get speed. You need that shit to be tight. So, especially for, you know. Wait a minute. So that was your wife. She doesn't. Does she skate a little bit, or was she just rolling around and just trying to she learn? She could a like bit? shove it on flat. Okay. She could go down banks, and like she had went down that one a few times prior to that. And gotcha. Then after that, she was just like kind of got spooked. It's tough, man. Yeah. It's tough when you get to take a good, especially if somebody messes with your board. Yeah. Dude. Like, <sighs> I know people that don't even like you to stand on their board because it messes up their bushings. Yeah. Let alone. Yeah. Kelly, bro. What? That's bad, man. I know. That's dude. wrong. I don't. That's I don't that's approve. Wrong, Anyone, bro. you cannot fuck with someone else's trucks, dude. I don't stand on your board. I don't. I don't. That's okay. I don't really care about that. But if you're gonna go get a skate tool <laughs> and go to my board, start loosening or tightening my trucks. I hate to say it, but go fuck yourself. Yeah, there's, dude. there's no reason. There's no reason for that. There's no right? reason. Yeah. It's horrible. Right? Yeah, it does not. I hate to be Man. so blunt. Well, about it wasn't that, her fault. You know, it wasn't her fault. So, yeah, that's so. a good contest tactic, huh? I'm going to go like loose some of the trust. <laughs> oh, the run, could you huh? imagine? <laughs> Right before someone goes, but like, hey, your board real quick. Yeah, what kind of <laughs> what kind of trucks are these? Whoa, look at that bird up there. <laughs> Here you go. I don't want to. That seems his like name, straight but... out of a movie, like Thrasher, like oh, thrashing. thrashing. Oh yeah. Like they just try to fucking sabotage a dude right before his like run. You <laughs> Throwing jacks in a bowl. Yeah, there you go. Well, <laughs> speaking of uh, board setup, what, what's your board setup, man? Do you uh, what what size board do you ride? What, what's your setup like? I got an 8.3, 149s. I'm trying the indie mids right now. Okay. Um, How do you like them? They're good. Yeah. yeah. Um, something about them being mids, um, they they were a lot better newer. Normally trucks have to like break in and then that's when they're at their peak. Mm -hmm. But I think these ones were a lot better in the beginning. And like as the bushings got like harder and whatnot, they've like, I don't know. I liked them better when they were newer for some reason. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know the science behind why, but them being a little lower, I think... Um, they just had a better turn radius. Are you a stock bushing guy? You yeah, stock, stock bushing guy. Okay, <laughs> but like with highs, with indie highs, I can ride the bushings forever, and like I, I like when they're broken in. Okay, because I don't know. I know that there's got to be a science behind it because of how high off the ground your board is and the turn stuff. But for some reason, with the mids, because you're a little lower to the ground. And then the turn ratio kind of gets a little like tighter. Mm -hmm. Like the, mm -hmm. the rebound's not as quick. I don't know what it is. So when you switched to your indie, it. when you switched to indie mids, you didn't, you, you kept everything the same. You kept your wheel size the same and everything. You just switched to the mids. Yeah. And what? that didn't affect your pop, your timing? No. Also because I rode lights, the titanium lights for the highs. Okay. So I think that played a factor with them not being lights. Cause like with the highs, it's higher off the ground. So it'll take a little longer to hit. Right. Yep. With the weight difference of it not being lights, I think it still takes almost the same amount of time to lift it before it hits the ground. You know what I mean? Interesting mm -hmm. concept. Yeah, if they were if they were lights, they would definitely snap quicker. But I think because they're highs, they don't. The timing is not different. Just the just the height is a little different. Okay. Which um, so you have the say, mids. Do you have mids, but they're like the regular trucks. They're not lights. Standard, yeah. Standard, standard issue, huh? I've never been a fan of the light trucks for some reason. Mm -mm. I don't know why. I, I feel like the lighter the board. No, the, I love them. Really? Ho hollowed, hollowed axles, hollowed kingpins. Like any t anything I can get off there. Mag lights all day. There you go. Interesting. I have this. I just. I don't know why. I feel awkward. I feel yeah, like if I it's never... easy for the, I need some resistance, mm, right? I yeah. don't know. Drawn, what do you feel? I need that same the, the shit that I always been feeling. The yeah, same. yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know I'm saying I don't need no. <laughs> I'm not trying to modify. Like you know, like I need lighter trucks to see if this is good. No, I'm, I'll stick You're to good. what I know. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. What if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Exactly. exactly. I I trip out because you you ride for bones wheels, and I hit up Jared sometimes. I'm like, bro. I don't ride for bones or anything, but I really fuck with those uh, bushings. The dude. bushings. Mm -hmm. Those are really good. Everyone does. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the mediums, dude. Me too. I was talking to D-Way about that a little bit uh, a couple days ago, and he was telling me how, like, you know how they kind of have the bottoms of them kind of carved in a bit? Mm -hmm. I think what would make them a lot better even is if they didn't have that because, uh, for, for example, with me, 
when I would skate those bushings, I can't skate them because I'd always blow the white part over the yellow part. Right. Mm. But if that if that yellow part wasn't there and they were just straight bushings, I think that would that would work for my. You should have one for impact, so for people right. like yourself, you know, uh, there you go. Hey, bones. Well, maybe there's. We'll send you an invoice. <laughs> maybe up. there's a reason like they're like that. You know what I mean? Like well, they make them conical the, like that so that way they turn faster. And so you don't have to use the washer. I heard because Danny was telling me that yeah. before the washer would hit when you go to like slappy up a curb. Right. Like from back in the days, and so they made them kind of angled like that, so you wouldn't need a washer, so it wouldn't catch on the curb. Ah, yeah. uh, see, there's always some reason, and and those bones uh, bushings they come with a um a really thin washer now, yeah, a thin stale washer oh, like, that doesn't like that. weigh your board down or like yeah. add weight to it too. I don't do slappy, so I I don't really care about it. <laughs> <laughs> Can't that washer, okay. I don't think would would really help my case though, because it was the it was the blowing over the yellow part that was right. that I would switch yeah. those bushings after a day, and it was just like I'll just, just keep the stocks. Keep the stocks, yeah, yeah, yeah those yeah. things. Do you have a preference in the color of the the bushings? Some people have that orange because white is too soft, red's even softer, and the blacks are hards, but mm. orange is just like medium traditional. Mm. Is okay. that is that true though? Is that like a thing they say? They're like, hey, these are. These are harder. These are softer. Yeah, the whites are like the softest. Or no, the reds the softest. Because I actually hit Rhino up about it because I tried the white ones and was like, "Hey, these like, I can't get them tight. And they're just staying loose no matter how much I tighten them." He's like, "Yeah, those are soft. Reds even softer, and blacks are like harder than the orange." Interesting. And orange is medium. Yeah, orange it, is medium. It's so funny because I never. I, it was I always just relate indies with orange bushings. Yeah, totally. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's like venture with the green bushings. There you go. Yeah. There you go. Really, I always relay adventure to red. Me That's too, actually. My generation, I guess. My it's generation green. was red. Oh, yeah, well. red. Yeah. yeah. Really? My, my generation was green. Like the, the feather lights. The yeah, feather lights. Green. Why yeah. do I want to say blue also? Well, they blue? switch them no, up. They had a whole bunch of they, they Maybe that's because I never had the feather lights. I didn't. It, well, I was never a venture guy. I was yeah, when I was younger. I was venture. The low ones, venture no, actually, lows were I'm super good. Guy, excuse me. The, excuse me. The highs come in purple, right? Purple bushings. I believe so, yeah. So you got eight three eight point three board. What size wheels? Fifty twos. Fifty twos. Got the venture. Yeah. I mean, I'm sorry, excuse me, the uh indie mids. And uh are you riding like wide wheels or skinny wheels? Uh, is it conical my wheel, actual I shape. I ride the V standard V uh, What size what, what what kind of wheels are so those? So these are V these are V threes, but oh, they're slims. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Those are slim. Yep. Yep. I ride the V1, which is standard. I'll so say. a little thicker than that. Yeah, a little thicker. Right. Yep. I tried the side cuts. I tried the um the like cut down the side ones to lock into grinds better. Mm -hmm. Um, but so it's funny too because you see how the wheel kind of rounds off here. Yep. That actually plays a factor in tricks like tray flip, for example. If you go to tray flip, that rounded off part kind of helps your board scoop a little mm -hmm. yeah, it helps the that. trick like scoop a bit and it's funny i noticed that when i actually got like a defected set one time in a box of v5s where they were all squared and one was rounded and i had gotten used to skating the v5s which were squared so i was tray flipping a certain way yeah. but i set up the rounded one on the back right side of my board <laughs> which like if you're goofy it'd be the back left side where you scoop off and the tray flips were just scooping around like crazy fast. And I was like, what is going on? And I looked down at my board and saw that that one wheel was wow. rounded. Wow. wow. That's crazy. Interesting. Yeah, was, Who would have thought? Know, Physics, right? baby. Physics. There it is. I could have sworn that uh, Schmidt, Professor Schmidt said something about that on his episode. Oh, God, I don't, don't remember half the shit Professor Schmidt said. <laughs> yeah. He's he talking said, a he lot, said of, tubes. <laughs> lot of nanotubes. A <laughs> lot of math. But he's of, did, he, did, of, he did say the edge of the wheels takes apart, especially on flat ground. Can dictate how that shit moves. Yeah. yeah. Interesting, yeah. though. Like, you might have a, a better chance of not letting a big spin go primo if you have squared off wheels versus rounded off wheels. Wow. Wait, okay. say that one more time. So if you, you know how people have problems with big spins going primo or yep. flipping? Yep. Right if here, If your yep. wheels are rounded, you probably have a bigger chance of it flipping and going primo or, or upside down versus if you have the side cuts. Yeah, it's right. all riding surface. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. that's, oh, it's so interesting. Try that out. Yeah, I but I don't know any of the it. science behind this. I just know based off feel. Sure, from sure, like sure. What I felt. It's so crazy. I've never, yeah, never been that guy. No, to I never like, took the time to take the, like that little detail. Like, oh, this is a rounded wheel. This is why I'm not turning my board. It's never. Like flipping it's because like, you no. guys are so stuck on what you ride, and you're just like, I can only ride this. But that's, dude, didn't you lose yourself into this crazy? It's like you're watching YouTube. 
And then you get this whole, you get sucked in this hole. I never did. And like, I, you get in this madness and then it drives you nuts. Right. Yeah. That's why a lot of skaters are like, this is what I like. This is what I do. Exactly. That's it. Exactly. Yeah. That's exactly Because so I've seen people lose their damn minds. I, straight, I won't name any names. It's happening right now for somewhere. I did I did to me at a certain point. Man, that's yeah, not we've fun. All, we've all had board issues and all that stuff. Yeah. But uh, so I've any, been in my head a lot lately. You well, can't be thinking about that stuff, Chris. Yeah, you I know. I try, escape, to, I try you know? to tune it out, but sometimes it just overpowers me to the point where I'm like, dude. And I, I know it's bad because I'll, I'll talk. I'll be like trying a trick. And after every fall, I'll be like, oh, man, that happened because this, 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 and that. And <laughs> yeah. after five times of saying it, I just finally have to tell myself like, shut up. They don't want to hear it. They don't care. <laughs> like skate. kids at the skate, but you're like, Tch. or or the yeah, filmer, or the, the film photographer. Part, yeah. yeah like, I, always... hey, man, I got my shit down. Figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> It's weird that, dude, the stuff you say when you're filming. Oh, my God. The way, the stuff that comes out of your mouth after. I oh, realized I the other day. Like an idiot. If anyone's filming me, I don't care what happens. If I don't land a trick, I'm like, sorry. I just say sorry. Oh, yeah. What What the hell? What? what? I don't know. Because you don't want to be wasting their time. You want to be producing. But at least get something so then they can feel good about it. You both feel good about it, you know? But then the homie's like, bro, stop saying sorry, dude. Yeah. Then, then yeah. That, and then, yeah. You gotta find something. Those to say. are the homies yeah. that just. Those are the homies that are tight because they just love to be there as much as you do. Exactly. They just love yeah. being on the set. Exactly. Those are the ones that are tight. It's the ones that get upset when you don't land a trick, or they're like, "Try it a couple more times." Like you got it. And it's like, dude, I feel like you're you're not just happy to be here right now. You're urging to get something out of it. You know. Yeah. I, I, ain't, even fu- I ain't even fuck with those dudes. Yeah. Straight up. Yeah. <laughs> those dudes. Pressure. Straight up. Well, that's what's yeah. awesome about you filming with your homies for so long is they're there for. For you, you know, yeah, yeah that's dude. just right. Devin Lopez just and just being out there, bro. Yeah, being out in the out in the wild. It's tight too. Like I'll I'll, I'll come home from sessions sometimes, and it'll just be such a good day. And because they're my homies, I'm just like, dude, today was awesome, man. Thanks for thanks for rolling out and doing what you guys do. And like, just as simple as sending like a cool like little text like that, just oh, yeah. helps the spirit of it, you know. You already know, bro. That's real shit. Right? That that is. Keeps them coming back. Too. That goes a long way, man. Yeah. yeah. They better come back. Shit. No. <laughs> Speaking of coming back, bro, you got to come back on the show yep. again and again and again. We love having you here, man. Well, yeah, not here vir- well, virtually, you know, but hopefully soon back here. Mm-hmm. Hey, I'm down, man. I wanted to ask. Is oh, there please. Any, go is ahead. there anything other on your board that um, we're missing? Um, Just the hardware and uh, bearings. Grip tape, Swiss. Well, grip tape you rocking. Grizzly. Grizzly. Right. Any madness? You got any little th- little quirks um i ran the stencils for a long time and i still do every once in a while but um it just kind of became a lot to kind of get my grip get it to my homie Mm -hmm. arrange for like our schedules are not really conflicting as like he works a lot and my with the kids it just became a lot it became a big process so i've got like a stock of painted grips in the garage but i keep them kind of as like a reserve okay like certain boards or whatever now if i know a board's gonna last a long time like like when i come off this injury i know my first board back's gonna probably last a while because i'll be just getting the flow back and whatnot i don't think i'll break the board so it'll right. last long yeah so oh. conserve it chris riding for uh bones are you uh fucking with spacers at all what are those the space the for, the, for the Barons? <laughs> no i've never put those in nobody's really puts those in yeah, yeah. i, I uh, rock them Every goddamn day. Somebody, somebody really? said, who was it? Somebody said that they heard. They serve a they, purpose. But they said they, they heard you say that on the show and it's totally false or something. Uh-oh. What false? Oh. <laughs> no, that it doesn't. It, it, it doesn't do anything. It doesn't, it doesn't do serve, anything. It doesn't serve its purpose. Its purpose. The purpose is your wheel continues rolling. But it still rolls. So if you look at a bearing or whatever. And you look at this, like what the spacer is doing is the spacer is basically pressing up against the the center ring of your baron. And if your axle slips, and if you are actually using washers along with the spacers and everything, if your axle slips, all the weight is getting pushed against the center uh, baron ring. So you will continue as a roll. If you don't have spacers and your axle shifts, you're now rubbing up against the. Um, your, uh, the bolt in the, the side uh, of the, the truck. Uh, the center ring, basically the um, uh, what the hell is it called? Um, the center ring of the bearing. The the, the, the shield. Yeah. And it's gonna slow your wheel down. Your mm. wheel is not gonna roll. I can see that. You okay. know what I mean? So like when you like look at what a spacer does, and when you use a washer or whatever, it's basically putting all the pressure on that center ring, so that way your ball bearings can still roll around the ring itself. Hmm. I get it. You know what I mean? 
What do you think, Chris? Did he, did he <laughs> sell you on that? He just blew my mind. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I tried so hard to comprehend it as he was saying it, and it just kind of like went over the top. It's one of those things that it comes with it, and I, I think 99% of skaters just throw them out. They think it adds extra weight, and that's bullshit. That's true. I think, th I'm like, I don't need this. It's just like, But it, yeah. sometimes it, it adds a little bit of a rattle, too. Yeah, I can yeah. see that. I keep my wheels pretty loose because somebody, I want to say it was Jake Duncan back in the day was explaining it. And he was like, if your wheels tight and you power slide, there's that little split millisecond where your wheel has to keep spinning before it stops. And the, the flat spot will occur versus if it's got this like moment before it stops, you're less likely to get a flat spot from what he explained. And oh. I, I've always rolled them pretty loose. But even if you have them loose and you have spacers and your actual <laughs> and your wheel shifts, whatever, it's still going to continue rolling. <laughs> I love this. I love this shit, dude. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I just oh, and if your if your bolt is kind of like flush with the um the end of the axle screw, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? The screw if the nut is flush with the axle, yep, yeah, the axle doesn't get on, like fucked up. Yeah, the axle doesn't really get fucked up, which is cool. Yeah, I didn't think about that. You're right. But then your end of your bolt can get like smashed down. You need pliers to take it off. Yeah, but, yeah. Just I also add extra put washers bolts. there too. There you go. Roger, I also, gotta, Roger can f solve the problem. Surprise, he, Raj, man. Roger's talking a lot this episode. I know. I love, love it. It, <laughs> it all just came out the We're last like, 10 minutes, though. He was quiet for a, a, the whole episode, mostly. <laughs> he was just waiting for the whole washer conversation yeah. to happen. He's like, I got, <laughs> got something, I got something for talk about guys, spacers man. for days now. <laughs> yeah. spacers, bro. I put both the washers on the truck side of the wheel, too, though. Not on the bolt side. You got to go on inside and outside. Inside. Inside and outside. Inside well, why and outside. do you do along with the spacer? I why, go inside. Along why do you do both on inside? I do both because uh, I have this kind of theory really? in my head that it gives me more truck width. True. So it'll give me like if I go to do a uh, kickflip crook, I've got like that little uh, bit. Yeah, on like each side. Space. Uh, yep. I just I go know. inside. Yeah. Yeah, I don't. Uh, it's too much putting in one what on outside too. What is the point? Too. I don't understand the washer. What's the point? Oh, uh, here we go. What's the what's point, Raj? Raj? <laughs> Have fun skating, Kelly. <laughs> <laughs> yes. yes. Listen, man, we all have fun over here. We talk about stuff. Listen, what what works for one person doesn't work for another person. Damn it's true. all it's all personal preference, you Damn know. True, dude. All personal preference. I don't think any of us could skate the way like or skate our board set up the way day one is. Like what works for day one? Dude. Exactly. Works for day one. Exactly. Not yeah, yeah, for me. Hayden explained the way he rides his board. You're like, oh, that makes no sense. No sense. Yeah. yeah. But it works for you. It does. And you're the best. And you so. are the best. Yeah. Jesus. Man. Speaking of the best, Chris Joslin. Chris yeah. Joslin, man. Oh, man. No, big fans over here, bro. Yeah, We're big yeah. fans, man. Always have been. Big time. Always will be. We're stoked for you and everything you got going on, bro. Plan B video coming soon, 2021. Be looking for that. Um. Yeah, dude. I love it, man. Thank yeah, you so much for yeah. coming on the show, Fuck yeah, bro. Chris. Thank you so much, dude. Hey, thanks Thank for having you guys. me, guys. Of I'll come course. on anytime you guys want, dude. Again and again and again, we'd love to have you on as many I wish times. I could come you on want. every time I want because we'd be talking every week. But. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'll yeah. settle for whenever you guys want. I wish we could just do this in person, bro. You know what I mean? Yeah, that'd be that's, the next that's, one. that's 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 the next step. I yeah. know, man. I don't even get my mug and T-shirt this time. I'm oh. sad. We can send you a box. We'll send you. We'll yeah. send you. Out. We, we. Hey, we're getting some new T-shirts. We're getting. Yes. Some, we're re-upping the shop, yes. dude. So, we'll send you some shit. Yes. You guys rule. No, but seriously, dude. We'll 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 talk to you soon, brother. Right on. Sounds good, you guys. Yeah, right on, Chris. Dude. Man, good seeing you, man. Chris Joslin, everybody. Yes. Huh? yes. Huh?